just has a fantastic sense of timing. She's a real showman. Thank, thank gonna, God birthday girl Matilda here doesn't meow. <laughs> you locked out, into a Tito. contest for three hours. I, I'm making it a contest. I mean, she's also an older cat, though, so... That, that means yeah. Jack for Dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, everyone! Welcome back to Unexpectables, uh, the episode where we've split the party and we're all gonna die. Says Gaijin Goomba, the man who is. Oh, yeah? Die. Look, I have 69 hit points, nice and all, but, you know, living. Mm. That's the tricky part. It's 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 the two boys that don't want to get in melee. Now we're going to have to get in melee, so I'm a little scared. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a that guy with that, with that cool that, that cool 80. I got a nice even round number, you know. But, but I'm the cool kid here, obviously. <laughs> Chud. Ah, uh, those numbers, so murderable, so low. Yeah, so so below of an utterance of power word kill. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's true. It's absolutely true. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the episode where we split the party. Oh, no, no. Yeah, never split that part. And the two, the two tankables are in one party, and the two support DPS are in a party, and... Gonna be fun! You got a tank and a utility in one party, and you have high dex DPS in the other party. Yup. So it's fun. It's it's okay. It's not like the DM can just alter the fight so it like it may be challenging, but not also brutal, right? Roll twenty. Lol, I, said the DM. Lamau. Lamau. I also want to point out. I also want to point out that we're we're fighting. Is this a? It's like an undead construct. It feels like. Yeah. So, no idea what's like, going oh, on. Most of our shit is gonna do dick for squat when it comes to damage. You. I don't know, Monty. You 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 talked about him coming up and like with bodies attached to him, and I'm just like, man, this this is some some. Mm, not, this sounds like a Frankenstein. Yeah, just a bit. No, that's fine. It's not good. Mo oh, sorry, sorry. A Frankenstein's monster. He's just wearing a flesh boa. You know, it's just boa. It's like a boa that, you know, you wear around your neck, but it's made of bodies. Great. <laughs> Undead Hulk Hogan is going to whoop our asses. Great. And, and Remy and Panic have to deal with John. Son of a... Yep, literally, John. They get, they get flesh, we get stone. I I kind of prefer flesh. To be completely honest. L listen, I'm I'm trying to seek a metaphor here somewhere. All right, man, come on. I'm I'm trying to find something here. Help me out. <laughs> I actually uh, had an idea for this episode's title even before we're we're doing it. Oh, good. What um, would that be? Forgotten toys. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's good. Get get I fucked, see. everyone else who had a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, someone could come up with something better, depending on how this episode goes. Like, that's just an idea that I had in my brain, because I thought it the was really... The episode where uh, someone dies. The episode where someone <laughs> dies. Someone no! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what we should do in the future? Like, uh, we should use that episode title for a session where nothing happens. <laughs> like, with, like, it's just like, you know, like a nice li festival literally. episode, and we're just eating snacks. <laughs> Monty, you know what the best way to do that is that literally the episode starts with someone killing a roach and then it's just all fucking like downhill fluff from there. It's an episode of Seinfeld. Amazing, yeah. I want to do that. Oh. But we kind of spoiled it. But we'll, we'll do that. We'll still scare people because who listens to the banter on YouTube? Not the YouTube oh, viewers. No oh my. Oh my. No, one re no one remembers that I make homebrew because they all miss the banter. <laughs> God. You gotta, you gotta do it in between rounds of combat. Be like, yeah, this by attack the way, is Alan wishes this guy to social acceptance. <laughs> all right, settle down. We'll all get right. to our intros here soon. All right. All Speaking right. of, uh, let's go ahead and just go down the line this time. Uh, Bosco, where can they find you? At Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter and right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. What Woo. cool thing are you doing? Nothing. Oh, I'm hurt. And there we have it. The guys of Goomba, <laughs> where can you find you, and what are you up to? Apparently not co-streaming with Bosco playing Samurai Warriors 5. Uh, uh. The dead si okay. The All dead right. silence speaks wow. volumes. Wow, wow. All right. So anyway, uh, I guess we're still friends. No, uh, I'm at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba, no H, because jokes. Uh, Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central. Lately... Uh, as I mentioned, I've been going through Summer Wars 5, which has been an absolute blast. 
And I've been joined predominantly with our very own Edward Bosco because I had no idea that he was super into this franchise. Uh, apparently he is. I love it for the, the, the history and that good old folklore. He loves it because, you know, what was your highest combo? Like 20, 20,000 hits, Over something 20K, like that. Yeah. yeah. 20K. There we go. I also uh, aside from that though, um, it's probably going to be a lot of that in the near future, but I will say I've got a big thing coming up. So on August 14th on Saturday, that's the Obon season. For those of you that don't know, it's kind of like Dia de Muertos for, for Japan. But the big thing about that time of year is uh, the Obon festival where you have like the, the big uh, sort of wooden tower stand thingy where people have Taiko up there playing and everyone's doing those big circle dances uh, with, with special oboe music. I came to find out that there's a whole bunch of oboe like style music for limitless anime and, and games and stuff like that. The least of which being Yakuza. And, uh, so since I can't get my butt back to Japan and most everyone else can't, uh, I'm going to have the first ever Otaku Obon where it's kind of the same idea. I've got my electric taiku drum. I've got a kick-ass stand now that I can play it on. And so I figured we drum to that. We play all these dumb, like, uh, anime and manga Obon style songs from, from freaking Dr. Slump Yakuza, uh, Digicarrot, it the list just goes on. And um, yeah, I think that's that's just gonna be a ton of fun. I got promo art, but I obviously can't share it here, so I'll get that announced soon. Um got a new video coming out over on Gadget Perspective talking about the Snake Eyes movie. I tear that movie apart, uh, for the reasons you may not expect. And uh I've got a witch ninja on the rest of of uh Snake Eyes from all the other sources coming soon. So sorry, I've got a lot going on. <laughs> That is Gaijin's totally a, fine. Gaijin's a busy egg. Oh, You're I want to stop. Busy egg. But no, out of all those things, like I'd say the, the Otaku Obon is going to be the most fun. So please swing by that if you can, the 14th. Yeah. Zito, where can they find you? Over at twitch.tv slash Zito, CZ Backlash on Twitter. Uh, just type in Christopher Zito in DMs Guild and the Ever Inkin Almanac on Patreon for homebrew shit that... Isn't on DM's Guild yet, but will be probably in the future. Who knows? I need eyes on the stuff so I can actually, like, you know, get playtesting and stuff done. That's what the playtest is for, for the Patreon. Um, Aloysius has got to social acceptance made gold, uh, but I've actually obtained some very interesting news. Mm -hmm. If I have at least one object on DM's Guild that is platinum, which means that it must sell 1,001 copies of something... I have the right to actually create a book of at least 100 pages or more to have a physical copy. Wow. So, so I I am in I am I got all the artwork for Aloysius Guide to Social Acceptance Volume 2. Uh I don't know if combined if I combine both books, they may just make 100. If they don't, then Volume 3 will be in the works. But basically, that means that, hey, I can make Aloysius into a physical book if you can somehow get Volume 1 to 1,001 sold copies. That's wild, dude. Yeah, That's on th you guys in chat. Help make that a thing. Will, Will, Willie actually helped me out with that one. He gave me that bit of information Ooh. this morning. Oh, and I'm cool. like, oh, fuck, that's rad. Uh, so that's happening uh, over on DM's Guild. Uh, my computer... Well, my computer is now over on the side in the corner crying because it's an old hackney piece of shit. And uh, all hail Jub Jub, the new computer. He's right here next to me. He's not making a fucking peep. He has like 64 gigs of RAM in him. He's got all kinds of S SSDs in him. Uh, I got a, someone actually, one of my mods got me a 3060 uh, or a 3080. I don't remember which one. Okay. I'm it's a 3060, so now he has a 3060 running in him. So what am I using this vast amounts of power for? I'm playing indie games that don't even fucking need it. I'm playing this cool new game called Time Break Chronicles that's out on Steam. Hey, do you like Final Fantasy VI and roguelikes? It mashes both of those together in the best way possible. It's roguelike live a live, live alive actually. That's the best way I could fucking describe it, and it's so oh. rad, and I can't recommend it enough. It has eaten countless hours of my time. Uh, might be playing Creatures of Aether and a new Metroidvania called Grime. What is it about? It's fucking body horror, the Metroidvania. So if that's cool Ooh. to you, check me out on twitch.tv slash Zito. Awesome. 
Monty, where can they find you? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter and at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Um, a lot of streaming stuff is going to be weird for the next week and, or, and so just because I'm getting my COVID vaccine this coming Friday. So there may be, uh, unfortunately, some interruptions in regards to all streams I'm involved with until such time as I recover from that. I could be good. I could be bad. I have no idea. Um, all I know is that other people I know and who I'm related to who got the second shot uh, did not handle it well. So, yeah, just a heads up on that. And sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, this is just kind of the way summer goes sometimes and also, you know, health stuff. So, uh, but usually and, and more recently, uh, I have been playing Metopia and it's it's a game. Um, we uh, my second RPG party consists of myself, uh, myself, my cat Goblin, Dr. Coomer, and Merrix from Kirby. Who's the horse person? Uh, Nemesis still. No one, no one loves the horse as much as Nemesis. No one has since then. So, um, unfortunately, Nemesis, my Twitch chat, and Cookie Mama were kidnapped by the Dark Lord Bosco. Uh, and we have to save them. So, uh, yeah. But we managed, we're, we're in the sand area. So it's it's fun. So, yeah, Force come and check that out. Nowhere. It's 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 ridiculous. We saved Donkey Kong, I think, the last time we played. So that he was huh. fun. <laughs> he. He. Excellent. Uh, and they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Tuesday is uh, tabletop stuff. Uh, probably going to be looking into some other games to play that aren't GW affiliated for reasons. Uh, yeah, uh, but we played Digimon, the trading card game. That's a lot of fun still. Um, Fridays, Friday Funhouse, where I just play a bunch of fun games with my friends. Uh, probably going to be playing some Guilty Gear Strive. Or uh, Amogus, probably a little bit of both. Saturdays, uh, before Gateway this week, uh, they're going to have a fun little beer dungeon. Uh, I'll be playing Yakuza 4. Uh, missed out on that uh, fun little game. And Sundays, I am playing Wildermyth, which is a really cool sort of... Uh, top-down, turn-based, RPG-esque type of thing where you tell a story to you, and there's narratively driven content with a lot of different sort of randomly generated stuff. It's really cool. Tune into the streams. Trust me. It's awesome. The name generators are fantastic. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, that's going on for me. Uh, be sure as well to check out Dead House Sonata. They just rolled out their new Founders packs, so if you if you missed out on the old Founders packs, the for the uh, for the previous iteration of them, they're gone forever now. But they have a brand new three uh, Founders packs. You can get access to the first age, the second age, or you can get something called the Ashen Ring, which has a bunch of different goodies. So be sure to check out the game where you play as the dead to fight the living. Dead House Sonata. Uh, and also check out my DMs Guild, where I release a bunch of 5th edition content, including uh, subclasses, and I will be rolling out some more subclasses soonish here. I've kind of got my plate full a little bit with things that require my attention, so production of the subclasses will be a little bit slower than usual, but I'll try to get something out for you this month, everybody. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. Okay. My turn? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hi, guys. So I already see people asking in the chat, so I figure clear this up at the beginning when the most people are here and you guys can kind of pass it on. A lot of people are confused as to where Borky is. So first of all, real quick, Borky is still back in the city, so I know he was supposed to go with Task and Greckles, but for those of you who are confused as to why he wasn't there last week, that's where he is, is back in the city. And Kurt and I actually had a really long talk, I want to say it was about two weeks ago, about everything, considering where we are in the story. So I figure it's appropriate for me guys to tell you that 
The decision was made for him to take a step back from the Unexpectables for the foreseeable future. He's got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of really cool opportunities. I'm not sure if you guys heard, but he actually just did something with AEW as one of their streamers. They had him as a guest on there, and he's had a lot of stuff going on. So he's trying to consolidate from what I understand, but the door is always open. So we appreciate the fact that he got all this stuff started. We appreciate the fact that this wouldn't have happened without him. So for right now, that's kind of where we sit. So we wanted to let all of you guys know. The reason we didn't say it last week is we weren't sure what was going on. So we wanted to make sure. But uh, yeah, for the, for, the, for the foreseeable future, that's kind of where we stand. So we just want to let all of you guys know. So you're not like, oh, what happened to Taco? Where'd he go? He's doing good. He's extremely busy. Like I said, I had a very long talk with him. It was not something that was done easily. It breaks his heart because he wants to be here. But you know, life is life. So that's kind of where we stand. And uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns, I'm sure the mods or, you know, myself when I'm in the chat, I can answer stuff for you. But there we go. So that's that's where we stand with that. So now you guys are all on the same page as us. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens in the future. But for now, yeah, there's there's not going to be any anything beyond that. But what there is still is we are still sponsored. Some, somehow we're still sponsored. Yes. Badai die. Badai die. What? Daba dee daba die? Daba daba dee daba die hard dice. Uh, <laughs> you can you can find all of their amazing products uh, at dieharddice.com. They have got both polymer and metal dice in any shapes, sizes, and colors you can imagine. And they're actually rolling out a new set. Sort of what? in the vein of in in the vein of the Dracona set, I think what? it was called like the like the reticle set. It's it's another one of their uh, it's another one of their um, die casts. Their their metal dice and uh, they're really cool. They've got like borders that sort of make it look like you're looking out of a like a, like little little chevrons on the side of the dice oh that God. sort of make it look like you're highlighting something. Uh, oh, in a video whoa. game, like you got something in your sights. Uh, it is, yeah, it is reticle is is what the new set is called, uh, and they're really cool. Be sure to check them out. They're rolling that out soon. Oh God! Oh no! Are, are you gonna make it? It's, yeah, it's sort, I, it's sort of it, like a, a steampunky sci-fi sort of uh, look to them. Every time there's like new Die Hard Dice announcement, it's like that picture of that cat with the heavy breathing. Like, <sighs> it's just like, oh no. <clears throat> Good, did you see how? <laughs> Peek in the mic. <laughs> this one's for you, Austin. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you, uh, you, you can find that over code. at dieharddice.com. <clears throat> and if you use the code The Unexpectables, you can get 10% off your entire order. Uh, and I think th that's everything before reading off some bits and subs. Uh -oh. Before we start with the bits and subs, Bosco and Connor, and and this is just for everybody in chat, reading the bits and subs is really hard. I had to do it for the first time for our three-part one-shot on Saturdays during the absence of Connor. And I, I thank you for, for doing this because it's yeah. hard to be a rap god. Yeah, it is. Uh, you did fine, though. Yeah. All right. I should probably get to it, though. Rap God. Mm -hmm. uh, Gear Cannon, thank you for the 15 months of Prime. Uh, are, are we on a time crunch, by the way? You have... I'm going to give you 10 to 13 minutes, maybe. Okay. All right. We got time. Uh, so I need to get water Iron, as well. Iron Starum, thank you for the 500 bits. Wait, no. Uh... Taryn817, thank you for the six months of Prime. Six months! Unfortunately, I can't stay up tonight because tomorrow I'm taking an exam and becoming a pharmacy technician. Everyone mm -hmm. hope that I make the DC on my intelligence check and I'll catch you on the VOD. Well, good luck. That sounds like a fantastic thing for you. I'm going to cast Greasy. Fox's Cunning on you. Good luck. Yeah. Greasy X Spoon, thank you for the 16 months. Crazy Tail 30, thank you for the 16 months. True Lord Darkness, thank you for the 10 months of Prime. Da Spoon, thank you for the 9 months I am here. DRK Ganon, thank you for the 16 months of Prime. Welcome back, everybody. Good luck on the fights. <laughs> L Robot, thank you for the 
eight months. An acceptable name. Thank you for the 16 months. <clears throat> Blitzcrank. I mean, Mike Crank. Gonna give it to you. <laughs> oh, God. Fired up and ready to fuck. No, please. I fucking... I, 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 I quit that shit cold turkey. Don't do it. <laughs> Good on you. Uh, Sergeant Tucker, thank you for the 13 months. Drinking some Irish cream whilst getting my ass kicked in Bloodborne. Ah, that sounds like a, a grand old night mm, right there. It sinks to me. What's that smell? Irish cream. <laughs> uh, and Tillerus, thank you for the eight months of Prime. Welcome back, Connor. Hope your fight with the bears has earned you a fur cloak. Well, I didn't fight any bears, but I did fight a lot of cheese. And also a lot of uh, people from Iowa. Wait, you fought <sighs> a bunch of people? From Iowa. So I guess you could call them people, but... Skalfar, thank you for the 16 months. Woo! First session I've been able to catch live in months. Let's go... Dragon Alchemist, thank you for the 15 months. Uh, Pentageddon, thank you for the seven months. Uh, what seven months? How the time flies. Barbecue Man, thank you for the 16 months. Uh, so can Mike Crank do a backflip? <laughs> Maybe. That's his intimidation. Check this out. Mission <laughs> status, sick. <laughs> <laughs> Pseudonym, thank you for the 14 months. I wish I could stay, but I have eye surgery in the morning. Ooh, good luck. Best oh, of luck God. tonight and catch you in the VODs. Good luck on your surgery tomorrow, dude. Mm -hmm. or good luck to your doctors, I should say. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Tazuto, thank you for the six months. Uh, thanks to Probably Not a Mayor for my gift sub. Tillor, <clears throat> thank you for the 14 months. Just another clone, thank you for the six or the 15 months. Just in time for my birth miss. Good rolls tonight, y'all. Corey the Palatipus, thank you for the 15 months of Prime. Woo! K. MacMon, thank you for the 14 months of Prime. Blonde Man Cat Snake, thank you for the 16 months of Prime. Olin Dawes, thank you for the 11 months. 11 months subbed, watch you for two years. Kick John's ass, Bosco. Sergeant Tucker, thank you for the 100 bits. Blue Team up in this stream. Goma Red, thank you for the 15 months of Prime. Viridian Winter, thank you for the 45 bits. Connor came back. I did. I ate a bunch of cheeky curds. Uh, Umber Tastic, thank you for the 11 months. 11 months, huh? Nice. I'm not going to be able to make it to a year due to my D&D group switching to Wednesdays, but I've still got the YouTube videos. Love watching this series. Thank you so much, Umber Tastic. Good luck with your D&D. Constable Mutton, thank you for the 100 bits. In before Gaijin, Nat Ones, and Mike Crank eats the Sunblade. He can't eat the Sunblade. It's made of no, light. Don't give him but ideas for fuck's you. sake. Hmm. Anything can eat anything you guys have if they want to eat it enough. Oh, and shit. Also, anything's a weapon. Monty, anything I want to now be introduced to an enemy that, that just consumes light. No. I, I don't know why, but my brain just went to Kirby, even though Kirby is not a thing. <laughs> my, my, my I mean, he's a walking like, black hole. My, my is... brain just went to like three fucking 3.5 books that I have in my library right now. <laughs> Anything is food if you're brave enough. Constable Mutton, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Greco's Flowery Nips, thank you for the 100 bits. So is everything back to normal schedule-wise? Also, Austin did great. Yeah. Oh, I will say this. There is a slight chance just due to the COVID vaccine that there might not be a session next week, but it's a maybe. Um, we'll probably announce yeah. it depending on where I'm at throughout the week because maybe I won't react badly. I have no idea. It's kind of unpredictable. So just we just ask for your patience at this time um, just because it's really out of our control for the most part. Yeah. So just All a heads right. up. Uh, White Fang, thank you for the 15 months of Prime. Super Choco Devil, thank you for the four gifted subs to the community. Argent Lyle, thank you for gifted or thank you for the 16 months. Renfield 88, thank you for the five gifted subs to the community. Morth Rander, thank you for the three months. Three months, let's go. A broken Tabaxi, thank you for the six months. Zenlita, thank you for the 500 bits. So if Borky went with Task and Greckles to fight Mike Crank, would that make him an archaeologist? <laughs> that, that's a good pun. Hey, that's a good pun. Bubba you Bob. Get you get a zero, not a negative. You get a zero. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 bits. Ready to see the battles tonight against the rusted and iron and rotten flesh. James Rochelle, thank you for the 16 months. Uh, 18 months, it's been a ride. Yeah. Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the elite bits. Uh, wasn't Aloysius's 
ogre's name when he completed his nerd transformation in the second movie. What? What? Huh? You had me at ogre, and I would have actually said the ogre's name in the book, but uh, I'm gone. Sorry, dude. Mm. Skyblade, thank, thank you for the 100 bits. Nom Nom Goblin, thank you for the 200 bits. Woo, back at LFS. Can't get that sand from Ruba out of everything. Welcome back, everybody. That one, Blind Kid, thank you for the 13 months. Just locked down a new house. Let's fucking go! Hey, congrats. Yo, congrats on real estate. Re Major Pudo. Thank you for the 12 months. Doranats, thank you for the four months of Prime for the Mist. Brian Merrill, thank you for the 50 bits. Listening to you guys, finishing my LDM and modules to be submitted for the school I work in. Hope both John and Mike Crank have no multi-boss forms. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Roan One Flu, thank you for the uh, 13 months in a row. How's everyone doing? We're doing right. Yeah, good. <laughs> Flustered Bun, thank you for the nine months. Uh, hi, just excited to be here. How have you guys been? Go Zito. Oh. Oh, for Aloysius. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Aloysius 2. Yeah, Aloysius 2 will have 40 races, by the way. Oh. That's a lot of stuff. A lot of content. Bag of holding. Thank you for the 16 months. Wednesday, yet again. Work was bleh today, but there's always unexpectables to make my day better. Yeah. yeah. The demon who stubs your toes. Thank you for the 16 <laughs> months. <laughs> First wow. time being able to catch live in a long while. Glad to see you back. <laughs> Thank you so I've much, both... demon who stubs your toes. That's the best and worst name. Like, I, wow. <laughs> Why would you do this? You're a maniac. <laughs> Lumberjack Fantasies, thank you for the 1,500 bits. You have all gotten me into D&D, &D and I'm finally in my first campaign. You fueled my all-nighters at college and finally graduated this year and landed a job, so it's time to give back to you all. Also, Bosco, how about them Cubs? That's a deep cut, and I don't appreciate you. Oh. Uh, thank you for the 1,500 bits. Sport ball. Hum drum gum. Thank you for the 16 months of prime subage. Jump, jump, begin. Jump, Great jump, otaku bomb. Online. Thank you for the 10 months. Thanks to you, probably not a mayor for my gift sub. Hey. Nova Jen, thank you for the 16 months. Just got moved into my new apartment and starting my new job on the 16th. Thank you for keeping me sane through all your sessions. Love you and keep kicking ass. Yay. Mr. 99 Ninjas, thank you for the three months of Prime Savage. What? Dog just had pups. They're a Boston Terrier Yorkie mix. I call them Borkies. Aww. Aww. Uh, Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. I got home from the Lego Con on Monday, and three things. What? One, I, I, there's no, a that, convention that flies, for everything, that apparently. Flies. Uh, that flies. Uh, Jet lag can hit like a truck. Two, I forgot how much of a workout going to con says. Three, when I picked up my grandpa, uh, he gave me my Boksu box that came in that day. Ooh. Ooh. How was it? There you go. I'm sure we'll get another 100-bit message to tell you how it is soon. Uh, Defective Sheep, thank you for the 16 months. So you finally reached the next door's arc. Or the next door arc, Monty. Okay. That's one of those names I didn't realize what it was until I read it out loud and my soul left my body. Uh oh. It was like, uh, mm. yeah, uh, I'm enjoying the game a lot. I highly recommend checking it out. We also have a cat cam. I forgot to mention that too. Mm. Sonish J, thank you for the 16 months. Free Shabakadu, thank you for the three months of 13 months of Prime Subage. New episode hype. Luke the Lucas, thank you for the 100 bits. Glad to see you back, Connor. Hope you had a wonderful time away from everything. I did. I drank a lot of beer and didn't think for a while. X yes. Wiley Willie, thank you for the 16 months. Revengerist, thank you for the 12 months of Prime. One year. It's cracked. Nature Claw, thank you for the 16 months. Wishing Taka the best for his future escapades. In other news, time to kill John and meet John the Meat Man. Don't trust his meat. Don't worry. Uh, Ivan the Vandal, thank you for the 14 months of Prime. I wanted to heat up a burrito, but literally all of my plates were in the dishwasher, so I stuck it in a coffee cup and microwaved it upright. That's the kind of guy I am. I mean, when you you gotta do it. Yeah, when, when you That's... when you don't have things, you use it. Yeah. 
the you, most pink gotta... bachelor thing I remember hearing about is a guy who was like, it was so bachelor. This is like the worst thing. He had a head of iceberg lettuce and he ate it by drizzling, uh, drizzling Holy salad dressing shit. on top of it and no biting it way. out over a sink. <laughs> uh. Like an apple. And I remember reading that and going, that is peak. I'm like, that is the lowest point you can get to is drizzling <laughs> lettuce with salad dressing and taking a bite out of it over a sink. That's not my idea of a depression <laughs> meal, but it, but it certainly made me depressed. Uh, Iron Storm, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Hello, bought a D&D player's handbook, monster manual, and the DM's guide. Uh, to, day, to one day become a DM myself, question for expert DMs and Bosco. If I eventually want to run a Stargate SG-1 style D&D campaign, do you know of any material that I should read to incorporate modern military technology into my fantasy campaign just to avoid homebrewing? So uh, I, in... I, actually, I actually have an answer. I do too. Uh, uh, my, mine's very quick, Monty. Yeah, I, uh, my, my, yeah, mine's pretty quick too. In the Dungeon Master Guide, there is actually stats for... Um, like modern weaponry. Um, you can find it. I can't remember what page it's on, but it does exist. So it is there if you're trying to find that sort of stuff. An official material, at least. All right, unofficial answer. Look up Dark Matter from Mage Hand Press. It's the closest thing you're going to get to Spelljammer before they decide to make Spelljammer official again. There you go. There you go. Greco's Flowery Dips, thank you for the 100 bits. A Borky is now focused on his cheese shop. It'll be okay. Ah, hell no. Nah. Thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, uh, damn, Taka absolutely brought me here, but I, I don't feel like he's going to be gone for too long. And if he is, hey, that's life. I'm happy he's successful and the Unexpectables can keep on trucking. Uh, fantastic, Callum. Thank you for the 100 bits. While I am very sad that Taka won't be here for with us for a short while, I am happy for him and wish him the best. Though I am sad, it's one less person who's able to pronounce my name correctly. Dr. Caliban, thank you for the 13 months. Loggin Moggin, thank you for the six months. Six months. Yep. <laughs> yes. Zen Leader, thank you for the 300 bits. We'll miss Borky on the team, especially now that we're down to only one tank now, and Remy. <laughs> pa -da -pa -pa -da -pa. Jinty13, thank you for the seven months. Love it. Just me and thinking... bubble and punchable. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, We're going to find uh, that out today. Just Neil, thank you for the 150 bits. You ever hear about that cactus with the invisible needles? I guess they made their point clear. Oh my God. You get a plus Rar hockey, one. dude. Thank you for the 200 bits. <sighs> is it safe to say Borky is just working on the Swiss dragon? Maybe. Sure. Valis, thank you for the 16 months. Death by Chair, thank you for the 50 bits. Mike Crank, I kill you. Hold still. No moving. No. <laughs> <laughs> Lunar Dragon, thank you for the eight months. We'll miss Taka, but I'm real happy for him. Hope you all do well with only panic tanking now. Log and Moggin, thank you for the 400 bits. Have some bits. Good luck, everyone. Loragon, thank you for the f uh, seven months. F Gear. Thank you for the 11 months. Almost a full year. Yay! Yeah, and W. Joe, thank you for the 16 months. Axis Azriel, thank you for the seven or the three months. Biako, thank you for the 1,500 bits. Well, my schedule has changed, and now I can watch live for the first time in a year. And Taka is getting up in the world. Oh, well. Glad to be back. Just Dealing, thank you for the 16 months. So I guess Panic Banished Borky as well. That's not... Fuck you! <laughs> Not what I wanted, but that's what happens. Ugh. Those who know, know. Uh, Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the 100 bits. I predict that Bosco will cast Booming Blade, and if things get dire, perhaps Shatter as well. Kier Dex, thank you for the seven months of Prime. So, canonically, Borky's focused on his cheese business. Probably. That one dwarf, thank you for the 100 bits. Lettuce. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going to grab water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Blue JDM, thank you for the 1,000 1, bits. Uh, I have spent the past three months getting caught up. Your voices haunt my dreams now. Sweet dreams are made of cheese. Who am I to disagree? 
Roll well tonight. Defective Sheep, thank you for the five subs. Travis A. Carey, thank you for the 100 bits. Zito, playable curry playable Kirby race. That's fucking, no. Listen, I make a lot of things homebrew, but fuck that. That's unbalanced as shit. Yeah. Rabbit in a kobold suit, thank you for the 1,500 bits. No message, just bits. Wait. Oh, no. Uwu, it's a wooloo. Thank you for the three months, uwu. I... Dusty Bone. Thank you for the 100 bits. First time I've been able to watch live and donate in a while because of work. Uh, glad this is the one I re-enter on. Get ready, John. Give him hell, you beautiful devil bard. And fight dutifully and honor, brave knight. Protoss 103. Uh, Thank you for the too, I guess. Yeah, you know. Uh, the one thing I hope that Task and Greckles do is check out Helga's old bar before going home. Rippington, thank you for the 500 bits. Thanks, Zito, for creating a guide that has created my Magman Barbarian for a one-shot I'm a part of now. Fuck yeah. Anyone who's... You gotta let me know how that shit works, man. That the, Give me the feedback, and it helps me fuel to make more stupid, fun... Stupid things. Stupid, fun yeah. things. We're closing down here. The These bits and subs. Blue Kios, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Dusty Bone, thank you for the seven months. Woo! And a seven month subversary? What a coincidence. Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. I also turned 22 on Thursday. I also flew on a plane by myself this weekend. Interesting how adulting can be. Yeah. L Robot, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Jub Jub. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Great Otaku hey, Bomb, thank you for the 500 bits. Shane Borky isn't here due to the poison cheese killing a bunch of mice inside the cheesery, and then all of the dead mice started dancing. Or as someone like Connor would say, Dead Mouse Macabre. Oh! Uh, <laughs> yeah. You read that out loud. Buy <laughs> my Founders Packs! <laughs> Solar Fire. Every time someone makes a dead house not a pun, someone has to buy a Founders Pack. That's the rules. I don't make them up. <laughs> uh, Solar Fire 7, thank you for the three bits. Hey, my insanity is busting the streams. Okay. Put it back. Don't belong to you. We'll fix it. Break it, you buy it. Control, Spirit of Love, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, with Taka slash Borky absent, that means that Bosco slash Remy is a main character now. Argent Lion, I'll thank you for the 250 bits. I just started my own campaign with my brother and two best friends last month using Candlekeep Mysteries to set up before swapping over to a bit of homebrew in the Forgotten Realms. Thanks for all the inspiration, everyone. Yeah. Yankee Doodle 923, thank you for the 300 bits. First time catching live after boot camp. Been looking forward to this for a long time now. Sweet. Thank you for your service. Yeah, yeah. Defective Sheep, thank you for the 200 bits. Just wanted you guys to know, I joined a D&D stream called Smuggler's Run, DM'd by Dungeon Master Outcast, who Bosco may recognize as Uthrar, the Knoll Barbarian from Under the Fractured Sky. So if you've got the time, feel free to catch the first six episodes. Eee. Iron Starum, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh... Anthony the Hedgehog, thank you for the two months of Prime. Uh, Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, just going to be cracking it open during the stream. Also, there are plenty of Lego cons around the world. There's Brickfest, Lego Live, Brick World, Brick Fair, the largest one in Virginia. The main thing about these Lego cons is that uh, the builds that everyone makes and the people make some crazy stuff, like a 1 to 32 scale of a Saturn V rocket. A oh, wonderful wow. model of Air Force One and a huge Princess Peach castle, a Stargate, Starkiller base, and that was only one third of the whole model. Oh. My my That's cousin fair. actually went to, who's a photographer, actually went to one of those cons to actually like do shots for them. So yeah, those things are fucking really legit. I'll never forget when my mom was trying to sell. We had like the Lego rail system, like the metal one that actually had electricity that run, ran through it. And she was going to sell that. And she got contacted by some guy like in all the way in Ontario who was like, I will pay you so much money if you just mail it to us. And she was like, uh, okay. Yeah, no, dude, the, the fucking the online market for bricks is fucking nuts. Actually, me and my cousin bonded on making a uh, uh, the Millennium Falcon before I ended up uh, uh, moving down to Dallas. That was like me and him hung out the last night and we did that. 
We just got that drunk cool. and made the Millennium Falcon. It was really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hellborn Rider, thank you for the 16 months. Defective Sheep, thank you for gifting 10 subs to the community. Rexasar, thank you for the 100 bits. I blame all of you for getting me into FF14. Ah! You fell victim too, did you? Ha 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 you all suck. Thank you, Six. Thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, have a great night, all. Remember to stay hydrated. Solar Fire, thank you for the six bits. Get me to redo Burl Plit. You have... Sorry, you have two minutes. I'm so sorry. Didn't That's me. fine. We've got like five more. Okay. Uh, Flustered Bun, thank you for the three bits. Oh, I'm moving into my first apartment next week. Wish me luck. I'm super anxious. You got this. You will be, but it'll after like a few days, you'll be fine. Yeah, it's just exhausting. So you're gonna be kind of tired. Uh -huh. Make sure to have make sure I have a plan for eating food. That's the biggest thing because you can lose track of that, especially if you're not gonna have you know kitchenware and whatnot. So it's always good to have an idea of what to do for food. Be prepared to Uber eat if you must. Yeah, make sure you have that money prepared. All right, are we good to get started? Well, I've got no. Guess so. okay. I said five you... more than everyone started talking. Oh, sorry. Yeah, keep going. Sorry. Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. I just opened Booklet and got the Kaki Gori Shaved Ice Gummy, and it's already in my mouth. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Those, that's my favorite out of the set. Pumpkin Panic, thank you for the uh, gifting a tier one sub to Golden J. Reaper BB, thank you for the three months, or the six months, rather. The Demon Who Stubs Your Toes, thank you for the 100 bits. Remember, your toes aren't safe. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkin Panic, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Crimson Tenno. Zen Lita, thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, I played Final Fantasy XIV until 2 a.m. last night. I blame Monty for that completely. Thank you for convincing me to play, but also, God damn it. I got an email in the wee hours of the morning saying a person redeemed my referral code, and I'm just like, who was that? It was probably Zen Lita. And I'm like, he, 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 and I went back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> About seven halflings, thank you for the four months. Yeah, four months. And finally, Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. Which Millennium Falcon Zito? There are about five. Uh, the 2016 version. Ah, Isoka. All right. You guys ready to get started? Let's do it. Oh, okay. I hope you like your bones. I did. Mine are hollow. No, that's my joke. I stole it. Oh. When last we left our heroes, Task, the Cobalt Ranger, Remy, the Kenku Fighter, Greckles, the Kenku Rogue, and Panic, the Tiefling Bard, the party is split? How could this have happened? Well, the party has, wanting to take on two Tasks at once, Greckles and Task are wanting to have a weapon to use against Fleur de Mort, the evil living forest, and have sought out the remaining husk of Mike Crank, the construct hero who saved a village from a fire giant scourge. After finding the remains in a long, abandoned cornfield, Greckles and Task were ambushed and attacked, then none other than the undead Mike Crank himself. Meanwhile, under the city of Alavast, Remy and Panic have been tasked with looking into the disappearance of Mel the Necromancer and her remaining projects that have become a menace to the Underbelly and its denizens. After finding the jerky remains of Merchant the Black Cobalt pinned to the walls of Mel's hovel, Remy and Panic discovered all manners of horrors, such as an altar, magic circle, forbidden spells, and information as to where Mel has gone. But with one loose end in the form of John, the flesh golem wandering around, Remy and Panic are now cornered in the sewer. So as we return to the Unexpectables, let's roll for initiative. <gasps> oh, God. Which of us? Oh, hey, that's 20. <laughs> Whoa, snap. <laughs> That's a good way to 19. open up. 19, that's a 24 right there. All right. I, I, nice natural 20 for you, Greckles. Yeah, yo, yeah. Uh, I got a question. Why is it that when I rolled, it rolled a 19 and it says I rolled an eight? What the fuck is going on, roll 20? Roll 20 has been having a lot of weird visual glitches recently. Yeah. It's, been, it's been very odd. A little odd, yeah. Hmm, that's cheating, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Remy, Wait a go? minute. It's a nine. Oh, well, whatever. All right, sweet. 
And that's going to bring us. Oh, this is going to be very back and forth. That's good. Actually, no, this is fine. Uh, and that's going to be panic. Wait, why did I put panic twice? Oh, that's. I have a single. So burn, nice. So. You had to put me there twice. I mean, didn't you hear the intro? There's like five tasks. All right. So, I'm gonna roll for Mike Crank here. Mm. Okay. Uh, Remy, what's your dex bonus? Not high enough to break any ties. Okay, so it's a zero? It's, a one. it's one. Okay. And now, John. Oh, God, John, all right. He swoops on in. John. I'm hungry. All right. So let us take us to our battle map. Okay. Forgive the mic movement. Oh. Ah. This shoot. is nice. Memories. There we go. Again, yell at me for the camera control because we're going to be going back and forth. Yep. All right. So. As Mike Crank rises up from the dirt, you see all manner of stone, and around his body, the decaying, unlaid corpses of several Alavastian veteran soldiers that seem to have just kind of found their way merging into the sort of iron outer workings of Mike Crank. You see his jaw is open, wires exposed, and as he slowly raises, you see as the eyes kind of narrow into cylinders, and a single beam of red light marks its way towards you, Greckles, and then to you, Task. Greckles, it's now your turn. Oh, good. Ah. Um, man. You stasis. Oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> Gre Gre Greckles will clasp his talons together and whisper out, Blue Shinnels! And uh, immediately, freaking mirror image going out. Okay, mirror image is up. Uh, let's see here. You watch as multiple Greckles <laughs> begin to appear in front of you. And you watch as that reticle that's looking at you is kind of just like now bouncing between all of them. Kind of like Good. an autofocus. Good, now he's confused. All right, Tesk, I think I've got him confused. Uh, I'm going to do, use my 40 feet movement. Okay. Uh, run up and uh, just bring down the sudden blade on him. All righty. He op. At least scratch oh. him, please. 27. That hits. Ooh. For ooh, minimum damage, six. six. That's fine. No, no seek attack, but that does no. get off the hunter's, or sorry, Colossus, Colossus Slayer. Slayer. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm getting the feeling I'm not getting a lot of sneak attack in, in this fight, and that's okay. With the last 30 feet of movement, I am going to book it. All right, so as you run up very quickly, you slash up against the side of its leg as he's slowly rising himself up, and you just immediately turn around and run off before he can even take a swipe at you. Oh, <sighs> okay, that's turn. All right. Oh, Monty, can I have possibly three little dots on my icon? Three little dots on your icon? Sure, absolutely. It, it, it helps to keep track of how many are left. Absolutely, that makes a ton of sense. Appreciate All it. All right, that brings us now to... Panic's turn. Embra. Panic. As yes. you see John <sighs> lumbering forward in the sewer, each footstep, the moment he locks eyes on you and Remy, you've met John before, you know, in the company of Mel or just on general sort of routine sort of patrols. Something about this is like predator looking at prey. Hmm. All right. Well, first things first, I'll get this started. Uh, I will. Let me just open the compendium so I can get this spell. Uh, range. I believe I am in the range of this. Ah, uh, nope. I need to move a little bit closer. Oh, geez. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Uh, I will go ahead and run up 30 feet. Okay. 
just just making sure that I'm as far away from him as possible without being, you know, move myself back one. I will I will raise the uh, the ring of spell storing on my finger and it will shimmer slightly and I will cast Bane on John. Okay. He needs to make a charisma saving throw. Oh, great. Yeah, he's a looker, that's for sure. <laughs> is Bane charisma? I thought Bane was wisdom. Bane is charisma. Is it? That's why it was, that's why it was so effective on those elementals. I thought it was wisdom. It know. is charisma. Huh. It's literally I, the spell you're going, a... you're ugly. I just, I want to double check that. Sorry, I just, it's bothering. charisma. I'm Dude, looking at it right now. Oh my god, you're right. what the okay, I'm thinking of Did you not else, believe probably. me? No, I just I'm like I'm like I'm like what? really? And I'm just check it for myself. <laughs> Press X to doubt. Uh oh, sixteen. That is a failure. Uh just right. barely, actually. Yeah, he Ooh. almost rolled a natural twenty. Jeez. And he is now Bane. Bane. Yep. 1d4 from attack rolls and saving throws. And with my bonus action, I'm going to use the use of my Bardic Inspiration to give Remy a mantle of inspiration. Uh, which means he gets 11 temporary hit points and he can use his reaction to move up to his speed. Uh, would you like to retcon that? Because I already had HP temp from the last time we did this. From the gym. Well, uh... I, I sort of figured that, but I was more using it for the positioning uh, sort of aspect because I I don't know what he rolled, but you know, fair enough. Yeah, I've got I've got other bardic inspiration, so don't worry, you're good. All right, Remy, you make your way forward, charging through the dark towards this massive flesh-like creature. He's about, I'm going to say probably about eight feet tall, uh, maybe around seven and a half to eight feet tall. He's mm -hmm. very tall. His jaw is like open. His limbs are really long and dangly. It's very frightening. All right. That ends your turn, Panic? Yep. Okay. That brings us now around to John's turn, who rolled really well on their initiative. John... Immediately seeing the two of you lets out this horrible, deep, grizzled roar that kind of bounces and echoes throughout the entire sewer system. Drips of water splat on the ground next to you as he starts just charging. He's a huge creature, but he just moves with in intense speed as he charges forward towards you, Remy. He's a huge creature? No, he's, he's, he's a medium creature, but he's very okay. fast and doesn't look like he should be that fast. Flavor huge. Yeah. Gotcha. All righty. He is going to make two slam attacks against you, Remy. Okay. Minus D4 for, and all these. Right. Minus D4. Thank you. Oh, roll the one. I'm so sorry. Sorry, math. 24 to hit you, Remy. On the first attack. Remy's going to cast shield and you're going to miss. All right. You bring up the shield and the fist just slams down with his arcane force. He's going to make a second attack on you again. Uh, that is going to be an 18, which also misses, I believe. That yeah. Misses. He goes swinging once and swinging again, just bashing, almost like a, like kind of a petulant child, just bashing on this door, trying to get at you. Actually, I take that back. I just realized I already used my reaction to move, so he'll hit me on the first one. I can't use uh, this Okay. All right, then I will roll damage there. Yep, that's fine. It's the Kerbo slamming on the door animation. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I uh, take 15 points of bludgeoning damage, Remy, as the first hit swings on the top of your head and just, it's almost like a double-fisted bring down of the hands immediately on your shoulder. Okay. All righty, that brings us now to the, back to the farm. <laughs> Yeah. It is now Mike Crank's turn. Oh. Mike Crank <laughs> kind of immediately pulls itself from the earth and you watch as it scans. Yeah. 
and immediately charges towards you, Task. It, like, backhands oh. the scarecrow oh, out of the way and runs towards you. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. No, tried- he only has one arm. He's very badly damaged. Oh, good. I tried so to he's only going to be able to make one attack against you. Oh, is that all? I rolled a natural one. Um, <laughs> oh, no. oh, God. I'm going to roll severity. Okay. Um, <laughs> as he, like, backhands the scarecrow, you watch as a bunch of the cloth of the scarecrow gets trapped in, like, the whirling gears. And as he goes to, like, swing at you, you just hear, <sighs> as he's unable to actually swing his arm and has to look down and tries to get the fabric off. Scarecrow that- MVP. As his bonus action, he is going to immediately, you watch as there's hissing steam coming out of his body. Greckles, you can see this from behind. You can see the various whirring gears that are in just complete disarray. But then you see something else seep out from him. Roll a religion check. Oh boy. Let's see. I'm to avenge Scarebro. Uh, ah, six. Oh, that's some that's some ghost shit. <laughs> Boogie go. And you watch as emerging out from his body spawns two specters of oh. fallen Vetrion soldiers. Oh, that dang. <gasps> well pissed. Alrighty. Okay. And they get their turn immediately afterwards. Oh, man. Uh, Hi, Greckles. Yep. This is, this is, this is why Mirror Image came out immediately. All right. Both the specters. Oh, did I put them on the background layer? I sure did. Ruh-roh. There we go. They immediately rush towards you, Greckles. The first one is going to take a swing at you with its life drain attack. That is going to be a 15 to hit you. 15 just hits the dupe. Okay, go ahead and roll for dupe. Uh, uh, cool, it hits me. All righty. I think you make, you see, Wait, I need to make it constitute... Okay, no, six or higher, sorry. Okay, yeah, no, no, go ahead. I need to make a constitution saving throw for me. <gasps> That's doopy. Ooh. 17. You're totally fine. I need, how many more? I need, oh, I need one more. Hold on, I need more, I need more die hard dice. Oh, good, for my death. Did you say die hard dice? Yes, where you can get high quality dice at dieharddice.com. Let me grab it. another dice. All right. Okay. You take 10 points of necrotic damage okay. as the hands rush through your person, like like right in the chest. Like it just mm-hmm. reaches through your chest and you kind of like bring in your arms to try and stop it, but nothing happens and you feel your heart kind of like palpitate for a second and like this arcing pain in like the core of your body. And as this thing looks up, you just see it staring da- down at you. It seems to be like an elven figure wearing the similar attire to the Vetrion soldiers. This other one. It has a hover speed. I was about to say, are they hovering or? Yeah. Yes, they're floating above the ground and just kind of sliding across the battlefield. This one is also going to reach out for you. Uh, oh my god. That is a natural 19. That's going to be a 13, uh, 23 to hit you, not 13, 23. Oh, wait, I need to roll for concentration. Excuse me. Yeah. No, I took 10. Wait, that's constitution. constitution. Hang on. I'm I'm an idiot. Wait, wait it's not a concentration spell. Yeah, it's, it's not a concentration oh, spell. I am so sorry. That mm-hmm. makes things amazing for me then. Okay, cool. Sorry. Um, uh, well, well, you are going to have for... to roll. Yeah, you have to roll a constitution saving throw for this next attack. Uh, It hits the dupe. Okay, it hits the dupe. You watch as the light drain goes in, and it actually sucks the mirror image into itself. <laughs> and the mirror image just gets 
you ever see like where it's like that person like the person floating out of their you know you know the like winnie the pooh from kingdom hearts where he's like his body is floating outside of his body like the ghost uh -huh. part it's like oh, the opposite God. of that where it folds in except it's you folding into this ghost <laughs> like eggs all right can you can you knock off a a, a little blippy sure can Thank you. all right that ends Mike Crank's turn. That brings us around to Remy. It is now your turn. Monty, I need you to make a charisma saving throw. You guys are really going after his looks, huh? All right. Saving you attack throw. the weak point. Five. Uh, Remy's going to hit the button on his shield, and as it opens up, you failed the save. Congratulations, you're confused. Okay. He's, I got to grab Underhulk stats now. Uh, I have them for you if you want them. Oh, perfect. Isn't that just the spell confusion? Yeah, I got you. It's specifically the Umber Hulk variant, because it's the Umber it's confusion, Hulk. Ah. Confusing gaze, you're fine. I got you, yeah. I posted it. Sweet, thank you. Uh, Barbie parts, kids, it's important. Very good, all right, sweet. Awesome, thank you. No problem, that's my turn. That that's your action? Awesome. You watch as Mike Crank, who's swinging down, you flash open the eye, and immediately oh. you watch as his eyes wince shut, and he... Uh, what did you mean, John? You mean John? John, sorry. What did I say? My crank. Oh, oops, <laughs> my bad. John crank. John crank. <laughs> John crank. Jonathan Space crank. marine. Space marine. All right. That brings us around to task. It is now your turn. There is a giant hulking construct right in front I'm of you. I'm casting haste for free on myself. Okay, you're like, nope, and you just pound your hand on your chest, and you can feel... I'm that kid who makes the peace sign that visibly disappears. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you are hasted. Do you want to hit haste for me? Sure thing. If it, there you are. Sweet. I get a plus two to AC, so I'm currently sitting at 18. Advantage nice. on the decks, and I can use an action. Uh, I can either attack, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object as an extra action. Sweet. Uh, so I'm, hmm, this is a willing creature with concentration up to that. So, for my free haste action, I'm disengaging and moving the fuck away. Okay, don't forget, too, the haste concentration is tied to Aos, not you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I can use spells, yeah. Yeah, you can. All right, cool. disengage. <laughs> As you take off running, you watch, you just, you're so fast, it's like, Pew! and you watch as Mike Crank, like, rips out the fabric, and its the arm slams down where you were once standing, and he slowly draws it back up and turns, almost like, like, tank treads, like, he turns down towards you and Greckles. Cool. Uh, now my, now for my regular ass turn, uh... My regular ass turn is using, you guessed it, using a short bow. <gasps> Actually, no. I'm gonna play this smart. My one action, my one first action will be Hunter's Mark. Okay. That's the bonus action, actually. So. Choo, choo, yeah. choo. Absolutely. Hunter's Mark bonus is action up. On that. Now it is time to hit this motherfucker. Here I go. With a natural one. Ooh. I'm gonna roll. Okay, it just misses. I rolled a three, so you just miss. You fire a shot, and it hits the shoulder of Mike, Kank, uh, Mike Crank, and you watch as he's, like, trudging forward, like, you know, like a space marine. You hit the shoulder. The shoulder goes back a little bit just from the force alone, but then just comes back to form as he just continues just moving no. this unstoppable juggernaut. No, no, no. We do it again. No, no. Huh? 29. 29. That yeah, absolutely sir. hits. Nine plus. Sweet. Ten. Nineteen. Nice. Very nice. You, you've you missed completely on the first shot, and you just, like, pull out a second shot, and you hit, and you watch as the arrow collides, and we'll see what that does on Mike Frank's turn. Greckles, mm -hmm. you are surrounded by ghosts. I sure am. All right, so. Greckles will close his eyes momentarily, and whisper to Kai, Methinks our space is tight, dear Kai. We need your wings, so let us fly. All right, you activate fly. As the wings come out, the porcelain wings unfurl. 
All right. Um, with uh, my bonus action, I'm going to use an offhand attack to attack the specter that is to my right. Okay. Uh, do 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 do. Bring that. Oh, by the way, do they look visibly dazed um, by the light of the sunblade? You roll a religion check. Ba, ba, ba. Woo. Fourteen. Okay. You would know this. Uh, actually, you would probably learn this from Priest Irons. Specters of this nature actually should be um, sensitive to sunlight, but these ones aren't. Weird. They seem to be unaffected mm. by light. All right. Well, let's drop this down. All right. <laughs> Offhand attack. Oh, boy. That's 12. a big 12. Just hits. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, big old 12 radiant damage. Nice. Not bad. That's pretty good damage. Actually, it's offhand, so it's not going to be plus the Oh, five, I'm sorry. So seven. Be... Excuse me. Seven. <clears throat> yeah. You offhand just swing the radiant blade, and you carve through the centermost point of the specter, and it lets out this howling wail, like, Ooh! You watch as this, the thing reforms into place and snarls angrily towards Ooh. you. Well, having that sort of freak out, um, I'm going to fly 30 feet straight up, so the guy on okay. the left will have an attack of opportunity. If they have those, I don't know. These are weird creatures. They do. They they have reactions. Okie doke. Uh, that is gonna miss. That is going to be an eight to hit you. So you take off into the air, and they kind of both reach out for you, but completely miss you as you take off into the air. Cool. That is turn. All right. That brings us now back to panic. Alrighty. Uh, my natural one arrow flings over and hits him in the ass. <laughs> You hear some? Oh! Uh, alrighty. Well, uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know what? I'll go. I'll just go 15 feet up over here. Okay. Uh, make some space for Remy, and I'll call out to John. Man, John, this just isn't your day. You should have moved. Ooh. And I'm going to do vicious mockery on him. Okay. He needs to make With a wisdom save. Minus Bane, correct? Minus Bane, yes, 1d4. Okay, that's 14 plus 14. That is a failure. Go ahead and roll some psychic damage. That is going to be big psychic damage. Uh, yep. All right. Just making sure I update. <coughs> Fuck. I updated that. Oh. Uh -oh. There we go. There we go. 10 psychic damage. Whew. All right. John takes 10 psychic damage. And has disadvantage on his next attack. As you call out the insult, you watch as part of the head actually just like bulges out, like uh. unnaturally, like the skull broke and like something got out for a brief moment. This horrible, uh. horrible sight happens. It's really nasty. And you watch as John reaches up to his head and, uh, and just kind of peels back his neck and just moans in agony. All right, panic, that ends your turn. Um. Hmm. I don't know how much damage Remy took earlier. So I'll just go ahead and as a bonus action, I'll do a level one healing word on him. Okay. For six. Heal him for six. All right, Remy, you heal for six points of damage. Copy that. That brings us around now to John's turn. John, like, brings down his head and looks down back towards you, Remy. Unfortunately, he's not very smart. Uh, and he is going to continue to wail on you. Uh, he's confused. You have to roll a D8 right. to figure out what he does. Correct. Thank you. I should have actually put on a marker for that. You are okay. I got your back. Yeah. We'll do that marker. Let's see what happens to John. I have to roll a D8, you said? Roll a D8. All right. Six. Uh, it takes no action, but uses all of its movement in a random direction. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Flops right in the water. <laughs> he rolled a three, so north is up. Yeah, he's going in the water. Oh my god. Perfect. You watch as he, in this difficult terrain, so 
He'll get 10 feet there. And then an additional 10 feet. His head is just above the water as well. He's over here as he just falls in, like, face first. Like, it's my one of my favorite games, like Nemesis did in RE3 Remake when he just fell into the water. Oh, you know, <laughs> that. And then you watch as he rises up and re-emerges, confused. All right, that's John's turn. It is now Mike Crank's turn. Fuck yeah. Uh, he got an arrow in him, which yeah. triggers something. Oh, Roll a d10 for me. Okay. Here I go. A two. Two. Okay. As you shoot the arrow and you hit part of the face of Mike Crank, that laser sight begins to, like, warble like it's broken. For the rest of this turn, Mike Crank has disadvantage on all attacks. His targeting system was damaged. <laughs> Mm, you're closer. Uh, I'm also very high up. <laughs> you are, yes. Alrighty. He is going to make a slam attack against you. Mm-hmm. Oh god, that's outside of the dice tray. It doesn't count. That is going to be 23 to hit you. Oh, damn it, yeah. Sorry. Great. Gosh, I need so many die hard dice for this fight. <laughs> oh, Don't yeah. Say that when you're rolling damage. Yeah, when you're rolling damage, I need more dice. <laughs> the worst is, I need a calculator. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, one's that's, bad. That's, that's rough. That's rough. <laughs> that's, the, that's the worst. All right. So the initial. Would you like damage. that grave to be six, maybe even 12 feet in the ground? <laughs> you take 14 points of bludgeoning damage to start. All righty. As he just start. straight up brings down his fist on you. And. Ooh, oh, God. That's you equally take, terrible. You take 23 points of necrotic damage. As the spikes of it, as he lifts up his fist, you actually see this, Greckles, from your position. Mm -hmm. As Mike Crank lifts up his hand, you watch as some of Taft's spiritual essence is just pulled out from his body. Uh. Oh. oh. Cool. That ends Mike Crank's. Oh wait, he had disadvantage. Hold on. Maybe, maybe it didn't have natural twenty. Good. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're fine. Jesus, uh, I want to roll this dice Wait, what did he have disadvantage one. from? Because his malfunction. He malfunctioned after getting hit ah, by Taz. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. I see. Kyle. Yeah. All right, Remy. It is now your turn. Okay. Um. I'm going to keep the umbral Kai pointed in his direction. I'm going to walk over to the water. I'm going to touch the water, and I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb Lightning. Okay. Oh. Um, all right. So I guess whatever the, the – I don't think the water has a DC, so nope. I should still hit it. Yeah, uh, absolutely. 16 points. All right. As you place down your hand in the water and let loose the electricity, it channels through the water and hits John and seems to revitalize him. Oh, fuck. Oh. As he completely jolts on the electricity, he turns, and you can see the eyes now flaring with this bright blue light as he turns around, now revitalized. He has, unfortunately, lightning absorption as one of his abilities. You Whenever the golem oh, is fuck, he's Frankenstein. Whenever yeah. the golem is subjected to lightning damage, it takes no damage and instead regains the number of hit points equal to the lightning damage dealt. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna use second one as a bonus action then. Okay. Um, let's see, that's a D8, D10, I think. Yeah, D10 I think plus it's D10 fighter plus level. fighter, yep. Nine plus Ooh. fighter, nice. Nice, it's a good roll. Yeah. All righty. That's turn. That's turn, all right, task, it is now your turn. Well, first off, I got to roll concentration for Hunter's Mark. Okay. Nope, it's gone. Ooh. Plus, well, plus your constitution. Oh, plus con. So yeah. Do 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 do. My con is ten. plus one. It, it still failed by one. Ah. Damn. No more Hunter's Mark. Yeah, you <laughs> say that, but I still have a bonus action. So. <laughs> oh, but. All right. 
uh, free haste action disengage. Okay. Five, six. All right, bonus action, Hunter's Mark again. All right, you bloop, bloop, bloop. As you run down, you see the uh, the salvage team going, we're going to walk back there, as they kind of just step away from the whole thing. All right, here, here I go shooting again. All right. You've got to be fucking oh, kidding no. me. Oh, my God. The tables that have turned one. since last time. Oh, God. Oh, no. I just rolled severity. Cool. How do I do this? Fuck. I, I rolled a natural 20 severity. I'm going to make you, I think. Okay, so as you're running away from him and you're aiming a shot, your foot goes into a gopher hole and gets stuck. You are technically now restrained. You have your movement is now zero. Oh god. Unfortunately, it's a natural twenty. I'm sorry. Mm. So your your foot goes in and you're like shit and you can't get out. Well, I can't use my other act. I can only use an extra attack. So let me try again. Okay, it'll be disadvantage. Disadvantage twenty three. Nice, that Ooh. hits. All right, so minimum damage six plus six. five seven. seven. All right, you take out, you kind of stop, you see him moving slowly towards you, you pull out your bow, you take a second shot, and you pierce through the chest armor, it kind of backs away, and then kind of brings itself up and keeps moving towards you. Wait a minute. Monty. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, I was just, wait. I have advantage. Oh, wait, no, that's on dexterity saving throws and avoid being ensnared or entangled. So, but, the, but it's a natural. It's a natural. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a natural one so, and a natural 20 in severity. You were never used. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. All right. So that ends your turn. Yep. All right. Back to the turn order. Greckles, it is now your turn. Actually, I forgot the ghost. The ghost actually. Uh, oh, God. How far, up, how far up did you fly again? 30. Okay. The ghosts are going to float up after you. Oh boy. Because they have a hover speed. And again, they're going to surround you. Um, you hear one of them actually moan out, Hold the line! Uh, as the first one reaches out to you, that is going to be an 18. Okay, so hang on. What is my dupe roll? Gotta keep scrolling back up. Uh, okay, so it goes 6, 8... Six, eight, eleven. Okay, I'll try to remember that. So higher than an eight. Nice. Got it. All right, if you can hit a blip for me. Hmm? If you can do one of the blips for me. Yeah, absolutely. Can I do that on my end? You should be able to. If you go to yeah, the... Yeah, if you uh, your token. There is the right immediate click. southmost thing. There's a little button there, and it lets you oh. go. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, cool. I'll yeah. just I'll do that for myself then. All right, sweet. Okie doke. The second one is going to float up next to you. Uh, God, Jesus. Okay, that's going to be a 23 to hit. They're rolling really well. All right, let's see if I can hit that 11. Nice. Boom. Last one. Ooh. Last one goes away. All right, that ends the Spectre's turn. That brings us back around now to Remy. It is now your turn. No, I believe it's Panic. Is it? Oh, uh, yes, you're I did, correct. I did... It is... Oh, you I didn't, didn't have go. your turn. I'm sorry. Nope. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, okay. Is it, Greckles, is it... now your turn. Okay, I just want to make sure. Oh, boy, oh, boy, you put me in a tight spot. Um, You know what? It's working so far. So uh, with action, yeah, screw it. Uh, regular action, gonna, gonna boost in again. Uh, drop mirror image to get that back on. Okay. Uh, 
God bless these slots. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. Oh, oh I was going to do a frame. Oh, sorry. I, I, I got it. There you go. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Uh, bonus action dash. Let's see. Hang on okay. a second. You know what? I got a ton of fly speed. Um, Cause I actually got 120 technically since I'm dashing. Uh, yep. All right. I'm just, wow. I'm just just big zoomies. <laughs> you didn't disengage. Nope. So they're gonna take two swings at you. Yep. First one. Uh, that's gonna be a 22. All right. And You're got good. it. I Second still need that blip. Uh, that is going to be a 14, which I believe misses you. That will miss. All right, the first one reaches into you and grabs some of your essence from your wings as you fly past. The other one just lulls and turns towards where you've flown off. But as you fly off, they slowly turn towards the kobold down on the ground at the moment, who's knocking another arrow, but is stuck in position. Oh, for heaven's sake. That brings yeah. us to panic. It is now your turn. Assuming, Greckles, that's oh. the end of your turn. Uh, yeah, I got nothing else I can do. Okay, panic. It is now your turn. Alrighty. Um, seeing that John is sort of uh, got an extra hitch in his giddy up, uh, I am going to just hmm. Four seems good. I am going to cast Shatter at fourth level in the water underneath him, so it'll be sort of like oh, a depth shit. charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Con save? Con save minus D4. Oh my ooh, dear. Not a good roll. Uh that is going to be a six. He rolled terribly on that. He's going to take all of this. Oh boy. Uh oh. 23 points of thunder damage. Okay. Remy, as you're kind of leaning off the side and you're bringing up your hand, you just watch as the water around Jaw just psh, explodes upward like a geyser. It actually collides with the roof and like sprays down and you can see a bunch of raw flesh just torn asunder. You expected to see blood, but instead it's just more flesh. There's no Ugh. blood in him. It's really, really weird. And he turns Ugh. and... <sighs> All right, Alrighty. I got your back, Remy. We got this locked down. And I'm going to use uh, use of my Bardic Inspiration to give Remy inspiration. Okay. That's a D10 now? D10 to attack rolls and saving throws. All right. It is now John's turn. John is still confused, I believe. He is within 30 feet, so he has to remake the save. All right. So he has to remake the saving throw. As, as long as he can see it, he has to make the save every time he starts his turn there. And it's an intelligence saving throw, or it's it a is charisma? a charisma saving throw. Six. That is <laughs> a failure. He cannot do anything. All right, go ahead and roll. Uh, I'll, no, I'll roll the, the d8. Hold on. Uh, well, so on a failed saving throw, the creature can't take reaction until the start of the next turn and rolls a d8. So yeah. Okay. Uh, he rolled an eight this time. An eight. Uh, the creature makes one melee attack against a random creature. If nothing uh, is within reach, he does nothing. And he's in the middle of nowhere, so he can do nothing. All right. He punches a sewer fish. <laughs> Damn. Just completely just... decimates it. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, he just turns it to paste. That ends John's turn. Enjoy, John. Asshole. A crab out of nowhere just... <laughs> <laughs> no! Crabius, that's not the way he goes. All right. Yeah, that's that's not good. Mike Crank's turn. Mike Crank. Does he have to roll the one d ten thing again? No, it's only when he starts certain in health threshold uh, thresholds. Unfortunately. All right. Uh, which he unfortunately has not met yet. So. Darn. Mike Crank makes his way over. Great. He's going to punch you with advantage. Oh, God. Oh, I love it when I rolled the same thing on advantage. 
Uh, that is going to be a 16 to hit. That misses. All right, I rolled two sixes. Hooray! You swings down, and you, like, kind of bring up the bow, and you manage to shoulder the blow with the bow. And you just hear Aos go, ow, 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 ow as you, like, get pushed <laughs> further into the earth. That's, I hate it when I rolled the same number on D20s. It's so anticlimactic. Um, but the specters, not having a most immediate target and a juicy, juicy blue boy, are going to f hover over and down towards you. This one. Oh. What was the plan, Gaijin? Oh, God. I, I thought they would chase after. I didn't think... <sighs> they're undead. I didn't think they'd have tactics. Uh, seven for the first attack. Fail. Oh, wait, but he has advantage because you're extreme. Uh, Twelve <laughs> on the first Fail. attack. Second one. Uh, that is going to be a 16 to hit you on the second attack. That matches. All right. Need to make a constitution saving throw for me. What oh, the fuck, three? Oof. All right. Okay. That's kind of dumb. You take seven points of necrotic Whoa. damage. Cast your hasted. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, plus two to your C. That, so that it's eight. Miss. It's eight. Oh, right. 18. So it does miss. So it doesn't hit. All right. Then you're totally fine. Oh. You like do the thing like you know in the highly edited movies where the guy's head and neck is going side to side and the guy's trying to punch him and it's just not like you know hitting like in martial arts movies. Yep. Yeah, so they both miss. All right. But you are surrounded pretty heavily right now. That ends Mike Crank's turn. Remy, it is now your turn. The water is difficult terrain, correct? It is, yes. Both terrain for the water. Okay. Uh, it would go probably go. for you probably go up to the about your chest, so Am I able to, is there a disadvantage if I were to attack in the water? Um, let me see. Uh, there was I disadvantage believe... when we were underwater. I'm asking yeah, if we're high don't... enough where where it's think... gonna affect the attack. Uh, um, it's like waist high, I wouldn't think so. Yeah, no, it's not, you're fine. All right, then I'm gonna take four, uh, let's see, that'd be 10, uh, wait. 10, 20, no, 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 full defense. I'll stay here. I don't care. Turn. You're going to stay here? All right. Sounds good. That brings us now around to task. It is now your turn. You are stuck in a hole, but on this turn, you managed to <clears throat> pull your leg out. It only lasts a turn because it was only a, you know, All right. failure. Regular uh, extra haste action disengage. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Uh, now it is time for me to use multi-attack the proper way I look at chat. Oh, um, yeah, the multi-arrow thing. You can use your action to make a ranged attack against any number of creatures within 10 feet of the point you so see. So right the fuck here, this one attack is hitting everyone. Okay. All right. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Kablam. I'm gonna shit. 13. Oh, wow. 13 does not... It, 13 hits the specters, but it does not hit my crank. All right, well, the specters take... Let's see. They don't take Colossus Slayer, so... They have... One of them has taken damage. Oh, so that's 9 plus... 7 for the other one, so that's... Ooh. Uh, 16 for one, nine for the other. Okay. As you let loose the volley, you watch as it shatters against Mike Crank, but pierces through and it spreads across and catches all of the specters. This specter, I'm just going to write down its health here, takes nine points of damage. That's pretty hoo-hoo funny. The other specter, as the arrows flash through in a bright, blinding light, you watch this very just kind of vanishes into the ether and disappears. <laughs> <laughs> vanishes. Okay. Good shot. Well, uh, bonus action, drink a potion. Okay, you pull Fucking open a potion. Holy shit. Uh, greater healing, so that's 4d4 plus 5. I have to say, Zito, 
You've had it good for too long. I don't get to hit you very often. You're always out, you're always always <laughs> in space on the map somewhere. Sixteen. <laughs> All right, sixteen points. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that is okay. I'm back up to this. Respectable, but not the best. All right, good. All right, that brings turn. us top top of the turn order. Greckles, it is now your turn. As you're flying away, <laughs> you turn around to see the specters, and they're not following you. Yep, 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 yep. All right. You never know. I mean, I was just trying to kite him. That was the that was the whole idea. So let's bonus action dash to get right back into the action. All right, you you kind of take off into sort of a nose dive and then kind of bring yourself up. I assumedly. So let me go about there. Sorry, I gotta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. Move stuff around. So let me there. Okay. Um. Bo -bo -bo. Monty, how would you treat holy water as a, uh, let's see here. Range attack against a target creature, treating the holy water as an improvised weapon. So what are, improvised weapon rules are what? So if you are not proficient with improvised weapons, you have to roll a, I'd basically make a call whether it's like, you know, a strength check or a dexterity check, and then you don't mm. get in your proficiency bonus. It's just a roll plus your ability modifier. So it'd be your, a d20, I'd say for you a dex, so d20 plus your dex modifier. Okay. Well, I don't know if this will do nothing, but I'll give it a shot. Is it? Hang on. What holy water are you using? Uh, I'm theoretically using uh, the Oron holy water. I'm Excellent. just trying to see if it has any splash or not. I'm also a fucking dumbass. My speed is doubled on haste. Oh, oh there you, you go. Oh, well, you did get stuck in a enough. gopher hole, though, like, so it did kind of get yeah, you halfway, uh, I'll say. I can, I can move fucking 60 at will. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to forego that money because it, it's it's single target and not that good. Um, yeah. So, try and get this other, I'll try and get this other spec out of the way. I'll, uh, I'll lob Todd at, uh, specter number two. All right. Go, Todd. <laughs> Todd 14. hits. All right. That is Nyan. Todd vanishes and banishes the spirit back from whence it came. Oh, Todd. <sighs> if you keep it, if you keep a track, chat, just just mark up another tally. <laughs> um, that's all I can really do. All right. That ends your turn, Greckles. Panic, mm -hmm. it is now your turn. Uh, it is significantly more humid and drippy in the sewers because of your ah, previous actions. Great. Come on, John. Be a good sport and just lay down and die already. Uh, fuck it, I got two of these. I'm gonna shatter him again at fifth level this time. Okay. Vain. Ooh. Uh, that's really bad. I rolled a natural one. Yeah. Minus two is minus one, plus four is three. Yeah, he fails. That's uh, a really bad failure. I, I'm gonna roll severity on this actually, hold on. Okay. Okay, it just, it's just normal, but he fails really He's badly. He's still going to take all of this. We, oh, 29 points of thunder damage. <sighs> okay, let That me... was a really good roll. That. I, you also rolled a one. It's only fair, Connor. This is kind of weird math, so I'm just pulling out a calculator real quick. Yeah. Quick All months. right. That really hurt him. And as you explode him, you watch as his head actually erupts. Like, it just pops like a balloon. And inside, you see five or six different skulls. Like tucked in kind of the chest, like the neck clavicle cavity. You just see five or six skulls with these glowing eyes on the inside, and immediately they all shing, turn red as... Oh. <laughs> huh. We have a fun little roll we get to do. It's fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, very fun. Okay, yeah, that's what happens. You just see all these skulls inside of him, and it's like, ah. Uh, 
as all the eyes just kind of scan over and look up, and he's still confused. Ugh. Uh, I don't really have anything for a bonus action, so I'm just going to... Yeah, I'll, I'll just go right here. Okay. I'll end my turn. It is now John's turn, and before we roll for the confusion, we get to roll for his berserk. Rage. His what? Now? His berserk. He doesn't go berserk, which despite is nice. all of his rage. Despite all of his rage, uh, I have to roll. John in a sewer. I have to re-roll the uh, charisma saving though. Correct. That is correct. That is. Uh, minus E. Uh, that is going to be 16. Actually, D4. D4. Oh, minus a D4. Mm. Uh, 13. That Thank bane. God bane, for Bane. 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 He is still confused. You stay right bane, where you bane, are. Bane. Roll a D8 for me, Monty. Three. Uh, three. It does nothing. All right. He stands in the water and just stares up at you. <laughs> and <laughs> remember what I said, Connor? The two yeah. of you hear a sound like howling, like a crowd of people screaming, but it's tempered. It's behind a wall. It doesn't seem to be here, but it's here. That's John's turn. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Thanks. Back down to Mike Crank's turn. Be Let's see. Hmm. Mike Crank making things with Crank. How high up in the air are you, Grapples? Uh, 30 feet. Okay. Hmm. hmm. Decisions. I have decisions here. How smart is this creature? Very dumb. It's going to go after task. Ah. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> and it's going to attack. Uh, that's. Not that. Oh, that's actually not that bad. It's uh, 21 to hit. Yeah, it hits. Okay. Where did my dice go? Oh. Oh, you know. <laughs> oh, you know. Places. Oh, come on. Well, two ones. So that's going to be uh, 12 points of bludgeoning damage to you, Task. To start. And then, oh. uh, 14 points of necrotic damage to you. I uh, it's still fucking pretty terrible. You watch as again, he does like an uppercut and you actually get launched in the air task as you kind of do a flip and land on the ground and kind of manage to like salvage the, the ground. But as he pulls back his arm into himself, you watch as you can feel that warmth in your chest just being just it's like a tug of war. Like he's trying to pull that out, but you're keeping it in. That ends Mike Crank's turn as he just stares down at you angrily. That brings us now around to Remy. It is now your turn. As you look down at the scene of John, what you first thought was just a simple flesh made construct seems to be maybe something more and you're not sure. Cool. For safety reasons, I'm gonna go right here. I'm still within 30 feet. <laughs> okay. Full okay. defense. Okay, you should bring Turn. up full defense. Turn. You still have the thing pointing at him, correct? Correct. Okay. Perfect. That brings us to task. It is now your turn. Your bones are a little hurting. Let me roll concentration for uh, Hunter's Mark. Okay, I keep it. You're fine. Uh, bone, uh, haste action, disengage. Okay. You can run 60 feet. Uh huh. Phew. Now it's the red blur. Uh, bonus action 
superior healing potion. Okay, you pop another one and you take I'm, a drink. I am out of healing for fuck's sake. Uh, 8d4 plus 10. Oof. That's nice. Very that's nice. A big, that's a big fucking sippy. That's some, that's some prime Kool-Aid right there. Yep. All right. Time to hit this motherfucker again. Two attacks. Right. Here we go. 17. 17 just hits. Ooh. Cool. So seven, seven plus... Five. Oh, my God. And so 17. Very nice. You... Fire an arrow, and we'll see what it does on Mike Crank's turn. Well, I ain't done yet. I got another shot. All right, go ahead. Oh, 24. Six, six plus. Six. Five, nice. 11. And Very that's good. Turn. All right, that brings us around the top of the turn order. Greckles, it is now your turn. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Nah. Let's go. Why is going off my cats? Let's move. I think that was 15? 15. Yeah. It's goblin down uh, again. God. Uh, you know what? Todd's, do Todd's pulling his weight, so let's lob him again. Fuck you, Nick! All right, go ahead. Todd 21. hits. Six. God. Nice. Uh, let's see here. It was 15, 6, 5, 45. Playing the spread out game. Okay, turn. Connor. But. <laughs> All right, that brings us now to Panic's turn. All righty. Uh, seeing as this thing is horrid, and I don't want to deal with it, uh, whatever new capabilities it might have, uh, I am going to... Fuck it. I am going to cast Shatter at level 6 on this thing. Okay. Oh, God. I want to just do a jump cut to a marketplace above this location and there's a dwarven <laughs> woman selling like mirrors and she's like oh yeah this one's really and then just boom and they all just look around and then boom and then there's another look around and then this happens so go ahead and roll <laughs> it's just a what the hell is that that's like a century <laughs> of bad luck mate i have thought i can't it has good constitution i swear to god it does no no right now it doesn't Zero plus four is four. So four saving yeah, throw. Yeah, it fails. I rolled a four on the on the on the D twenty. I rolled a four on the Bane dice, and then it has a plus four. Alright. So Fuck. it's gonna take all of this. Okay, it's not great. Twenty one. <laughs> twenty one. Hey, it's twenty one. That is three ones on the die. <sighs> the curse continues, Connor. Ah, well, bright side is I'm only down on mass suggestion, so. Yeah. As uh, the dwarf woman is selling a mirror and hands it off, she looks down and she goes, is there an earthquake? Or is someone farting? All right. Strong. <laughs> that brings us to John. I'm gonna roll on his berserk die. Looks over at her husband who's sleeping and slaps him upside the head. <laughs> Shut up! They were scanning away the customers. John? Where did my John... Oh, there it is. Where did John go? John. John. Hey, John. It's what I do. John does not go berserk. Gotta have a good meal. <laughs> uh, he rolls a four minus three minus one. So zero on the charisma saving throw against the Umper Hulk eye. Go ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll a D8 on that. This thing's mean. Good thing you can only use it once per day. <laughs> Eight. 
Uh, it makes an attack against anybody in its range, which it has none, so it does nothing. Die, fish. It explodes another fish. <clears throat> All He's right, doing that, it. That brings us around to... Mike He's Crank. Gaming. He's gaming. <laughs> John gaming. John gaming. Okay, okay. Hmm. Let's see. We got... Monty Wallflower. Oh, right. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, the 1d10 thing. And I am 30 feet up. I've, I've been calculating. <laughs> yeah, you sure can. Uh, do I have to roll the 1d10 thing like you said? Yes, absolutely. Yes, you do, actually. That might be A three. 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 Uh, as you guys both, you launch two arrows into him and Greckles, you throw a dagger into him. You mm -hmm. watch as part of his body like snaps and crackles. And you can see popping of electricity in his chest. You don't know oh, what God. that means, but he seems vulnerable to something. Mm. Ooh. Mm. He is going to charge over here. He's going to grab the scarecrow. He grabs it with his hand and unearths it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and task. Mike Crank no, is going to on, throw man. the scarecrow at you. Because he can't reach you because you're too fast. He's armed. <laughs> so this is an improvised attack. Is it dex save or? Uh, he's going to throw this at you. So I got to see what his stats are here. He'll use strength. So that's a soft 20. Damn it. And I'll use javelin stats for this. Da, 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 da. All right, this is 1d6. Uh, you take nine points of scarecrow damage as like you're running and you turn around and you just see him throw the scarecrow and it crashes into your body, but you manage to scramble out from underneath it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> He's a combat expert. I don't know what to tell you. No, 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 no. Because this is it's going to be hysterical for the next thing I do. All right. Remy, it is now your turn. I mean, you know the drill. Same as the first. I'll take it easy on you. I full defense. All right. You full defense. All right. Task, now your turn. I just want to double. I, I'm, I'm looking through all of my my nonsense to quickly double check if I have something. I do. Excellent. And let me double check the spell. No, it doesn't work the way I want it to. Fuck. But I can still do it because I have that extra fucking ability because of haste. So move 60. Okay. One, two, three. I am over here now. I am over yonder. Haste action. Lightning arrow. Okay. So it's just this. Ooh. I'm. Oh. 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 Uh. You do have your aspect of of Aos. If I you do, want to roll that. Use it. Wait. Kay. I'm I'm fucking rerolling. Oh my god! Much oh, okay. better. There oh, we go. Six. 26. Hovered over that three for a second. Yeah, that was like slow and dramatic. So seven. Uh, so that's lightning damage. Uh, unless you want to add the hunter. The hunter's mark is magic, so that's not it. So that's this. Yeah. Uh, but if you want to add it to Colossus Slayer, which I don't know if you can or not, but that's five. So, so it's seven lightning damage? Uh, seven lightning damage, yes. Okay, that's doubled because his exposed circuitry made him vulnerable to lightning damage. Okay. So that's well, 14 plus 4 is 18 plus 5 is 23 points of damage to him. Sick. All right. Uh, now, I, I like the idea of just like he fucking threw that scarecrow at me. It, the camera doesn't pan on him. He gets hit with an arrow, looks down at himself. What the fuck? Who does that conjure barrage? Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. The creature must perform a dexterity saving throw and beat a 14. Okay. Surprisingly dexterous. So we'll roll for this. 
Oh, that's cocked. Uh, 17. I fucking... Sorry. He takes half as much as this, so 3d8. Okay. Oh! That's a good roll. Oof. Pretty good. 20. 10, so that's half of it, he takes 10. That's... Mm -hmm. down. That hurts. You let loose the lightning arrow and it actually explodes inside of the chat like inside of the chest of him you can see smoke now bellowing out of one shoulder and he kind of slacks to one side you can hear this horrible sound of twisting metal uh that hurt him very badly i can throw a scarecrow at me you dick <laughs> that's all what right. you get Tense turn. that is your turn all right greckles it is now your turn greckles seeing this it's just Whoa! Okay then. It's like someone uh, throwing a fucking steel chair and someone from off the screen. <laughs> it's Shaking. like that. It's it's like that. Uh, what is it called? The uh, the the Blue Jay guy, Rigby and Mordecai, where like he yeah. throws a chair. Yeah. Yep. Same energy. <laughs> just just shaking it loose. Uh, <laughs> Greckles Greckles yacht. Just keep staying your distance. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in a very long time. Uh, oh boy, can I do it from there? I can do it from there. Give me a second. 60? 60? Oh, too far. Okay, well, screw it. I'm gonna go way over here. It's gonna clasp this ta- huh? I'm gonna change the music just really quick while yeah, we're doing yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of mix it up a little bit. I switched it over to Metopia boss music on my <laughs> end. <laughs> All right. Good? All right. Yeah, we're good to go. Uh, Greckles will clasp his talents together and shout out Katolujuts! And for the first time in a very long time, cast Firebolt. Okay. Because it's going to be better damage than I can do with weapons. So, Hia. 22 to hit. That hits. 3d10, 16 points of fire damage. Ooh. I should use this more often. <laughs> As you toss the fire in, it's almost like... like slam dunking like a uh, a basketball into a hoop because it goes right into that hole that mm -hmm. was in the center of his chest you hear a funk and just like robot wars or battle bots you just now see fire just cooking out underneath him on one of his shoulders oh jeez nice. he is now on fire for lack of a better term as he takes a significant chunk of damage from that man yeah i, I gotta remember use this more often good grief i didn't realize it was 3d10 at this point yeah, oh yeah, Whoa. cantrips get yeah, stinky cantrips at late levels. Yeah, cantrips do big boy damage at this point. Uh, let's see here. That was movement, attack, bonus action. I don't think there's anything I can do bonus action. Uh, no, I'm gonna go into Aspect, all turns. here from the other side of the fucking field. When the fuck have you done that? <laughs> Greckle shrugs! <laughs> a little panics right now. <laughs> Look, when, when I can... What is my sneak at right now? It's like freaking 6d6. No, more than that, I think. A lot. It's a lot. So I haven't, you know, <laughs> do I want to do 3d10 or like a bazillion d6? So, hey, you know. Situational. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's turn. All right. Panic. It is now your turn. Woo. Uh, all righty. Um... I want to hang on to some. John, John got fucked over. I just want to say that. Like, <laughs> I'm sitting here and I'm like, this is going to be crazy. Like, John's going to do all this stuff. And he's literally sitting here standing waist deep in a kiddie pool, punching fish. <laughs> I feel a little bad for him, but, you know, he's he's a big old monster and he's killed people. So, you know, uh, don't feel too bad. And I'm going to hang on to some spell slots. I'm just going to cast Shatter at level three. Okay. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> that had some bounce to it. Uh, okay, he finally rolled well. That's a 19. Wait, minus? Bane. Minus two, 17. He just barely succeeds. <laughs> my, my spell save DC is 17. I, th okay. I think that means he succeeds, yes. Wait, so yes, aggressor he... wins? Yeah. Aggressor wins. Um, oh. Well, so then he fails. I I'd say it has to be for, like, a saving throw. It has to be you have to make that number. So 16 right. would be a failure, right. I'm going to say. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. 
If I've made that right. call wrong in the past, I'm very sorry, but I feel like that, you know, at Dude, least it has it's to be fine. that. So That's fine by me. We've literally bullied him this entire time. So. He's still going yeah. to take half of this. Much explosion. Oh my god. Uh, 15. 15. So, 7. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, he's not looking good at all. Like, he, like, parts of his flesh are slawing off. His arm just, like, splashes into the water, and it's, like, still moving in it. It's horrible. All right. Uh, I think he's winding down. I think we're on the last stretch of this. All right. Form two. <laughs> Form two. All right, it is now John's turn. Uh, oh, wait, I gotta roll the d6 for this. No, he never goes berserk. All right. And saving throw. Uh, that is going to be... John's got other priorities right now, man. 13. This Bane nope. sucks. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. The only Bane, way he can get out of this Bane. confusion, and if, if Remy moves, is if Remy moves and, like, turns it off by some chance, or if Bane goes away. Like, I literally have to roll a natural 20 to get him out of this because of this ability. Mm -hmm. Y'all sure are mean. You're bullies. Yep. I, yep. Okay. Meanwhile, down south. Oh, I, God. Look, I, I told you we were going to wreck this, and we are. Ooh, uh, is seven. that his turn? We're just so goddamn good, boss. We are, dude, rolled... Connor, I, it's just, it's not fair. This is why we can't You know what, Monty? From one DM to another, it was about time you needed a Johnny Dark Souls moment. It was about <laughs> yeah. fucking time. <laughs> seven for his confusion table. Uh, he does nothing. Oh, God, he just punch stands there and stares at you. He gets to punch a fish. All right, he punches another fish. <laughs> <laughs> There's just dead fish floating in the sewer water. Flicks a carp in the head. <laughs> All right, it is now Mike Crank's turn. <sighs> Picks up another scarecrow from the ether. Roll a d10 for me first. Uh, what, roll a what? I uh, Greckles, it. Greckles, roll a d10. Eight. This makes so much sense. Overheats is the flaw that occurs. Oh, nice. Can you roll a d6 for me? Yes, ma'am. Five. Okay. He does not become incapacitated, but he is still on fire, so... <laughs> If he rolled a six, he would have been incapacitated, but he mm. he is not. But still, kind of scary. Yeah, yeah. All right. He is on fire. Let's see. That is very thematic. Yeah, that was like, that was the perfect roll. We're 75 feet away. Yeah, so I'm 105 up. Oh, you're up in the air? Yeah, I'm still 30 feet up, technically. Okay. Firebolt's got a range of 120, so... Hmm. He is going to dash. Is that a bench? <laughs> it is a uh, horse, the thing you tie a horse to. Oh, good. <laughs> and he's going to grab it and rip it out from the ground. Oh, it's boy. Like magic Greckles. Is that a bench? <laughs> <laughs> is that, that a, a bench? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That brings us now. Two, Remy, it is now your turn. This thing is just completely mm -hmm. subdued by you. Do you uh, do you want me to help you out, Connor? Uh, I am getting a little low on slots. All right. I'm going to go here and cast Burning Hands. Okay. That's a dexterity saving throw? It sure is. And I'm going to do it at level two, because fuck him. So that's going to be uh, 16 points of fire damage. Hold on. 12. That is 10, so he fails. You failed. You take all 16. Aversion to fire. If the golem takes fire damage, it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the end of its turn. Ooh. Uh, bitch. Fire bad. <laughs> oh, uh, actually, 16 points. Bitch. He's non-resistant. How do you want to kill him? I literally want to incinerate him in the water. All right. You just let loose the torrent of flame and you watch as the heads pop like pustules. You watch as the flesh sizzles and crackles like pork over a spit. 
before it just melts down into the water and the water that remains on the surface just begins to hiss and boil until all you can see just growing out from the water is the charred remains of a spinal column that gently floats down the sewer water. Remy's John clo- yep. is slain. Remy's gonna close the shield and turn to panic. And this was made by the necromancer that bested Lady Isla. Really? Panic, panic shrugs. <laughs> panic joke. and Remy, you begin to hear screams. Oh. <sighs> A torrent of screams. And you watch as darting out from the charred remains of the body. <laughs> Both of you guys make religion checks. The god roll. Here I go. This is all you bring. Soft Ten. 20. Okay. Remy and Panic, you watch as these little lights. <laughs> They're freed souls. Looking at what John was, he wasn't really a flesh golem. He was some sort of experiment of necromantic proportions. And no doubt a formless, a form made without blood had to be pulled together with something. And you can hear, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. As a bunch of about 40 to 60 souls Jeez. leave John that were imprisoned within him. And as the last one peters out like a firework, you watch as one massive charred red soul bursts free. Panic with your religion oh. check. You don't quite know exactly what it is because you are not a worshiper of Necrecta, but you watch as that form vanishes and disappears and you can hear a cackling laughter of Mel that fades into nothingness. Hmm. Task, it is now your turn. Okay. All righty, cool. let's see. I'm gonna saunder my ass over this way. Okay. Because I will have enough room to do all of that. I'm using all three of my haste and regular ass attacks to attack three times. Okay, you're just like unloading like a Gatling Yep, I just, right I, I fall prone to the fucking, I fall pro the full, fo- uh, eh. I fall prone to the floor and I enter Tarkov gamer mode and I start yeah. sniping. <laughs> the the boost base, the bass, the, oh my God, the bass boosted like Russian highlights yeah. music kind of begins to play. Yeah. Well, 14's not hitting. 14 misses and you fire off the first shard, it shatters against the shoulder as Mike Crank rips out this, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the thing you tie a horse to. It's like a horse Hitching tie. post. Hitching, hitching post. post, thank you. Is As Mike Crank rips the hitching post out of the earth. Second shot. Lightning arrow. Okay. 26. Oh. 26, that hits. Five, 10 plus. Oh! Jeez. Yo, do you like 22 points of damage? I like 22 points of damage. 22 points of damage as you let loose another lightning arrow. And you can even see Mike Crank seize up, holding onto the hitch post. The part that's in his arm is almost cut by his fingers as he squeezes down on it as he takes the lightning damage. Third shot. Regular oh. arrow, that oh. fucking had 20 on the other side, I'm 21. I'm so sorry, 21 No, that's fine. 10 plus. Nice. Two, 12. 12, all right. He looks terrible. He looks really bad as he's currently, as he un, kind of unjolts himself, he leans up and looks towards you, Greckles, and is aiming a shot to like just knock you out of the sky. Okay. Tass, does that end your turn? That's turn. All right. It is now Greckles' turn. All right. One more shot. Freaking katonujits. Uh, let's see. Wha bam. Oh, oh for crying out loud. Ah, oh, well. I'm so sorry. Nine it's points. It happens. That, that does not hit. You huck. You, you, like, you, you, like, bring back your hand and you katonujits, and he swings the hitching post like a baseball bat, and you watch as it just, like, foom disappears over the horizon like he did a home run and it falls on task so, ah! 
You watch. So you watch as everyone who's watching you fight, like all the all the salvagers are like, oh, and like clap. <laughs> all right. So Monty, I am thirty feet up. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna break the sound barrier and go to the other corner of the map. All right. You just take off flying, kind of in a nosedive to pick up speed. And you watch as he turns around and watches, like his head just turns, like the whole thing just chum, 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 towards you as you turn around. Cool. That's turn. All right. That brings us around now to panic. It is now your turn. And for combat what? is over. Combat is over oh. for you. <laughs> it, is now Mike, it is now Mike Crank's turn. 80. Plus 30. Gonna move 30 feet. Uh, task. Go ahead and roll Man. another d10 for me. A roll a what again? Sorry. D10. Oh, a d10. Very well. Mm -hmm. Yahoo. 10. Oh. Okay, that's fine. As he gets close. Self destruct. No, as he walks closer to you, you watch as part of his armor kling, kling, lands on the ground. Kling, kling, chunks of him are falling off from the fire inside and also your shots. You've just weakened the armor that is actually just falling off now oh, in man. rusted heaps. But he is going to throw this at you. Well, don't that beat all. <laughs> I'm doing my best, buddy. I'm trying. To... You're pretty far away, so it's going to be a disadvantage. Uh, that's cocked. Uh, 18 to hit you. That matches. Ah. Uh, all right, I'm going to make this a little bit more because it's a pretty big thing. As you kind of are, like, taking your shots and you're grabbing another bow, you just see over the hill of the dirt, just, like, whew, the hitching post launch through the air. Uh, you take nine points of bludgeoning damage as it lands right on top of you. Hello? Taz just pushes. Yeah, no. Taz pushes the fucking hitching post off him and does the courage the cowardly dog laugh when he's in pain. <laughs> oh. Do you do? You, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but do you? But do you have a a cavity in one of your teeth? Sure. Why not? Absolutely. <laughs> I I don't care. Teeth. I say I I it's necessary. All right. That brings us now around to Remy. You're out of combat. Task uh. is now your turn mm. as you kind of crawl out from underneath the hitching post that's been thrown at you. All right, you fucking dick. I'm doing it again three times. Let's go. All right. Oh, my Seven. God. Come on. Oh. 17. Just hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Six plus... 11 plus... So, 19. How do you want to take him out? I, Task, ta all right, you know what? No, it's not even a fucking arrow. Task is so fucking pissed, he yanks one of the pieces of the hitching board off and uses it as an arrow and fires it at him. Okay, absolutely. Where do you want it to hit? Right in his fucking dumb dome of a face. All right, you let loose the shard of wood and you just completely, what's the word when you kill a vampire? Stake it? Yeah. Stake, yeah. You yeah. stake him in the face and you watch as there's a moment where he leans like you're as he kind of leans backwards. And there's like a, an explosion and his arm falls into the ground and the entire heap just <laughs> crashes to the ground. And you wait for one minute, two minutes, and everything seems still. And that's where we're going to take a break. Oh, boy. Oh. Bad. Oh. 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 Horror, fun horror. <clears throat> God. <laughs> and now Christ. you have to repair him. That's not well, my well, job. Well. <laughs> tag him and tag him. <laughs> hey, guess what? That ain't my fucking business now, ain't it? I'm in the business of killing. I'm on the business of repairing. I'm getting tea. I'll be right back. That's the opposite of my job. Hi, Zito. Hi, Connor. Hi. Right. Man, we really we fucked, fucked that one up, yeah, didn't we? That was <laughs> as soon as it's, that it's not we're not fair. We're just not fair. We're just we're just 
There's like you yeah, ever yeah. like watch you ever watch like the Americans in the early '90s play basketball against everybody else. That's we're just the dream team. Yeah. You ever you ever think you're too good at something? I do, and then I realize, but people like it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all good. Yeah, we're good. She had it coming anyway. Were you more excited for Lonzo or DeRozan? Lonzo, because DeRozan can't shoot. And I think it was a fun signing, but I think it was a mistake for the chemistry of the team in terms of the makeup, because now they have a non-shooter that they can't hide too well. But we'll see what happens. Then maybe they'll get creative. Maybe DeRozan becomes a power forward. Who knows? But at least the Bulls are adding people and not just trading away their whole fucking team. Hunter bits from Callum. Yo, Remy, stunlocking John like a Mega Man boss. You damn right. Uh, Chris with 100 bits. Good job, guys. Also, I got a job so I can give more bits often. Also, how's everyone and to DMs? How does an Azamar werewolf sound? Sounds interesting. Badass. Yeah, werewolves are cool. Azamar exists. Burnout Vaughn with 100 bits. Hey, Bosco, how would you feel about a reporter style bard? It's a concept. <laughs> uh, night watch some interviews, people. I guess. Uh, Knight with some bits saying, God, Bosco and Connor, why the fuck do you kick so much ass? I don't know. Connor, that's a good question for the halftime show. Why do you kick so much ass? Uh, I was just born different. Okay, that's fair. So would you say that you broke the mold? Uh, yeah, I, they, they broke the mold when they, they made me. Got it. We didn't take damage, except for that first hit, which I should have been able to shield. <sighs> That's, man. Uh, Zen with 200 bits. It took over 100 episodes, but we finally got the Panic Remy team up. You love to see it. Uh, so how's it going, Bosco and Connor? It's going good, Robot. Zan with 200 bits. Uh, to the Dream Team and the Error Team. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, Ren with 100 bits. Goodbye, John, you freak of nature. Yup. Bro, we like, this, we're like a, a unexpectable speed run team right now. <sighs> okay. We're like, huh, what's that? Mr. X boss fight? Nah, get in the water, son. Yeah, I'm glad we got water skip. Yeah, that was good. Cause, well, because when you force him to glitch into the water like that, you can actually bypass the level and his health is, takes a hit. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you if do you, me a favor, if, the, there's going to be like a role play scene between Panic and Remy. Skip it so we can just get. Because if you skip it, you can get a glitch where you gotcha. the wall. And like it'll play the audio in the background, but if you skip it, it'll let you keep going. Gotcha, and that's how you wrong warp to the end credits of the Unexpectables. Exactly, yeah, because I don't need to see the rest of this trash. Wow. <laughs> All right, Connor, that was your problem with Helena. You should have just given her hot peppers. There you go. He'll get that reference. No one else will. He'll be confused. Uh, Robot, thank you for giving a tier. What's up to speedrunners? Magic, thank you for 100 bits. Speaking of interesting characters, how does a fairy dragon monk sound? Complex and interesting. Uh, Viridian Winter, well. thank you for the 500 bits. Let's try this again. John died like a bitch while my crank went down swinging as it should be. Uh, Bangalangs with 100 bits. I can't wait until the gang reconvenes and Greckles wakes up one morning with a frying pan pressed to his throat. Kiwi is going to find out, Gaijin. I'm back. Uh, big Peace Pipe with 100 bits. Something to ask the animal lovers. Any advice for someone who's lost their two cats, 17 and 19, in a week leading to their 24th? Take the time you need to grieve, and there's nothing wrong with when you're ready getting another animal because sometimes yep. that's the best thing. Um, we had Jade for almost 21 years, or rather I should say Aki had Jade for almost 21 years. 
when she passed, that was one of the hardest things that we've had to do. Um, time will heal, but it may take a long time, so give yourself the time. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Also, it is a fun time to discover that uh, my kettle is out the door. So that's new. That's fun. Uh, Foxy, tell us thank you for the bit. Figuratively or literally? Oh, Reckles. at this point. Ah, Reckles fair. with 100 bits. I love you guys. Also, Monty, how can you keep your cool when your players don't let your monsters do cool stuff that's planned? The same way the players keep their cool when Monty wrecks us. That's just the way the game Yeah, it's just the back and forth. Uh, like Kalen with 100 bits. Darling. That's part of it. Uh, Listen, when the jailer they pants, they pants one of my own and I had to just be like, okay. <laughs> uh, when the jailer calls in parental backup, no one escapes my mom. Yeah, sometimes that's that's just where the dice fall, man. That's just mm -hmm. shit happens. Can't be too bad. Uh, worm spawn for 500 bits for DMs guild writers. Is it possible to use that content on D and D Beyond? Or should one look for other options to use DMs Guild Publishing? Uh, don't do that, because that's literally you're stealing the content. <laughs> that's literally you're taking the content. Unless the guy, unless the person gives you the permission to do so, don't do that. That's literally just taking their shit and putting it online for free. That's called a crime, and we will, like, you know, pursue I, justice. I, I, now, I can't if you're, talk if you're using D Guild content to make a character on D&D Beyond, like using the character sheet creator, like, I feel like, you know, maybe that's okay. Yeah, no, that's mm -hmm. fine. But, like, putting the stats, like, putting the actual numbers and all the lore and everything just copy pasta onto D&D Beyond for everyone to use, nah, fuck you, you just stole the content. <laughs> yeah, you can use the content, but you can't repost it. That's generally the, the yeah. And, the, yeah, yep. um, where I'm sponsored, I meant making a character, which I think is, that yeah. would kind of defeat the purpose, so... Yeah, making a character is fine. Not, like, just taking the yeah. content and putting it on DMs Guild for everyone to use. Nah, that, that's different. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, if someone wanted to take the Axolittles and, like, make a character that's an Axolittle, or, like, have a campaign where they're a thing, like, I'd be totally fine with that. But if they post that, like, if they take all of my work and post that on, like, D&D Beyond's, like, public access homebrew page, there, there would be words, <laughs> unfortunately. Mr. Crawford, can you get the laser sight, please? Bring down the hammer, Don. <laughs> Sorry, I'm here. I'm just eating toast. Yeah, and I'm just drinking my tea. My, unfortunately, my now coffee-infused tea, which is... <laughs> okay. All right. I am officially good. I am full of zucchini bread. Oh, I love zucchini. I love zucchini damn, plate pastries. Damn, bro, I gotta go food shopping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is not a London Fog, Zenlita. I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> I have barbecue. Oh, damn. Oh, right. I have chicken wings. Fuck. I have enchiladas and taco meat. Ugh. You, know, you know what? Before we start again, I'm going to go quickly grab those. Oh, man. I didn't. I don't know if I told anyone. Aki made enchiladas for the first time in her life. And they're, I'm as someone who doesn't usually like Mexican food, freaking dynamite. I saw the mm. picture of that. They look pretty good. Mm hmm. Love me some enchiladas. Mm hmm. Chicken, ooh. Someone oh. got static. Ah. Wait, no, that isn't me. It's Bosco. Bosco, plug in your mic. Hmm? Plug your, plug your, jiggle your mic. You're, you're, oh. ma you're making crackly sounds like you did before. Never, never mind, the chicken strips have got got, so. Oh, no. Damn, starved <laughs> Zito. Damn, punished. <laughs> punished Zito, a man denied his chicken tenders. <laughs> We're all bones here. We're all bones here. <laughs> all right, you guys good to keep going? Mm -hmm. I'm a yeah. game. I didn't get my chicken tendies. 
Gosh, you were right. They're not one of us. We cannot judge an enemy. Or as chicken tendies. Chicken soldiers. <laughs> the hell are we on about? <laughs> oh no. Boss, you killed a chicken. Amazing. Mission complete, boss. That's why you're the best. <laughs> By the way, I had the joy of show showing Arkov Crab Battle. Do you guys remember Crab Battle? Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Still holds up today. It's so Plastic. good. Oh, my knife. <laughs> oh god. My it's, got knife. Sharp... <laughs> it's got razor sharp claws. I can't believe this. There's a crab in this cave. I don't think I'll be making out of this place alive. <laughs> All right, so Greckles and Task, as you guys uh, uh, calm down, you watch as one of the salvagers, oops, grabbing the notes here, kind of leans down and goes, that was really good, good job. And they kind of clap and applaud for you. Task is <laughs> ren hoicking so bad, like hunched over, <laughs> his hands half clenched and like just neck turns instantaneously with a stone crunch. I, I imagine the mouth is doing that, like, long, droopy, puckered... Into a mosquito-like mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Professor Vainmore uh, makes his way down kind of the hill and approaches trepidatiously, like, cautiously. Go ahead, I sorry. I don't think he's getting back up. Also, Task, are you doing okay? Slowly turn to Greckles. Takes his hands, grabs like the bottom of like the back of his torso, and makes a nice hearty fucking back crunch. I am <laughs> fine. I'm fine. Well, here, just in case you need it for down the line, uh, I'm gonna toss you a two d four plus two potion. Cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, do you have what you need? I, uh, I hope we can get it working with what you got left. Hey, uh, you watch as the wizard, the, the, I believe she was an elf, descends down and begins to kind of pick through the parts and kind of casts her hands over her spell book. And she goes, hmm, my expertise is not in ghosts, but I sense no residual magic anymore, which could be both a good thing. And a bad. All right, Quite then. Bad. You want this thing to work, don't you? We want this thing to be at least in serviceable and or working order so the silver kobolds can do the rest. Understood. She seems a little quizzical at the term well, silver kobolds, as they're not quite well known yet in the city, but... Mm -hmm. Ma'am, I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. These these little guys can make a fireball shooting ape from seemingly nothing. I think they're going to be okay. I see. She kind of closes her book and walks over. And you watch as the dwarf. Vainmore is kind of yelling like, Go ahead, get to work. You need to start on that one. Make sure to get the biggest pieces on the cart and make sure not to miss any bits. Here, grab this and comb through the dirt. And you see it as they kind of begin to salvage the pieces up of Mike Crank. Um, I still got fly active. Could could I use that to kind of get uh, get things hitched and hooked on more easily since my crank is so huge? Um, you do help them. You help set up some pulley systems that they use to actually drag him to uh to the cart itself proper. Go mm -hmm. ahead, both of you, and with advantage, both of you will roll athletics checks. Oh, very well. <sighs> Oh, thank oh God. God. 19. <laughs> 19. All right, Greckles, with the flying, you do help them out quite a bit, especially with, like, carrying over to and from, uh, like, big bags of, like, little pieces, like, little bits. Like, they're very mm. thorough. Um, they're not only collecting, like, the big giant parts, but also, like, you know, the little finger bolts and things like that. Like, right. by the end of it, they actually have it all cataloged. Um, it takes, like, 12 hours, though. Like, they're going Jeez. nonstop. Yeah. And like Professor Vainmore is actually charting out where each, like what piece would be in what bag for whoever you're going to have repairing it. So like you know, here's all the finger bolts and joints and whatever. Here's you know the leg parts. Here's the part that's missing. You know this is the big part here. This goes here. 
you know, this is the, the remains of the head that got exploded. You know, this got caught fire and here's all the burnt pieces that they can be used as to use as reference, right? Mm-hmm. What um, time of day is it by the time they finish? It is nighttime, but they have lanterns. They're out with lanterns and they're just kind of doing a final mm-hmm. once over. So I'd say it's probably like 9 p.m., like 9, 9, 10 p.m. maybe. Mm. Probably later than that. We're going to have to decide whether we're going to camp here or just try to get out. If there's if there's a whole ground here that would turn Minecrank into something that monstrous, I don't know if we should be sticking around. Mm. Can we not go back to where we just entered and stay there, at least for the night? One second. I, I think uh, myself and the lads agree that maybe getting away from the uh, forgotten battleground would be best. Um, all right, then let's make one last attempt. Let's make one last attempt for the night, at least for strenuous activity, to get my crank at least out of here and into a safer location, and then we will take our rest. All right, well, we can do that right now. All right, go, hitch it up. And you watch as they uh, command your guys' as lizard hounds, and they groanfully pull the cart. It is much heavier now as it's filled with a giant metal man, even compared to the tree and the several people you've had in the back. Um, you guys are walking home. I'll just say that much. He's a very, very mm. big construct. Whoever's in the jockey seat gets to sit and drives the lizard hounds, but the rest of everybody else is walking. Mm. <clears throat> I'm the guy with the, uh, with the expertise in driving, so I guess I'll take that. Yeah, you're okay. also the lightest. I would assume. All right. You pick me up, I weigh as much as a bowling ball. As you drive the cart out of the excurt, uh, the outskirts of town, you look back in, um, it's just the, the swords stuck in the ground, the various different forgotten armor sets and of both fire giant and human alike. You guys park the cart out there. Do you wish to camp here for the night or do you wish to like uh, as long as we're not within any place where there's gonna be spooky ghosts inhabiting people's souls and shit, then okay. yeah, we'll take a rest. Yeah. All right. Do you guys set up a watch? Or you just rest. Um, we can set up a watch. Um. Okay. Uh, who... Yeah. Vainmore is willing to help because he actually needs. To, he's willing to take first watch because he needs to finish cataloging <clears throat> all <throat> the information for whoever you're giving this to. He's earning his money. I'll just say that much. Like, he's 100% wanting yeah. to earn his money. Um, yeah. The wizard is willing to take, uh, not, like, last watch, but she's willing to put alarm around for her. Oh, part of watch yeah, that's, that's, that's helpful. Good. Yeah. Because while I'm not in the greatest of shape, I could probably do night watch. Does alarm okay. require concentration? No, you can go to sleep with it. I was about to say, should we all just go to sleep and have her set alarm? Yeah, but there's there's fucking walking trees and shit going around. There's a a chicken the size of a continent. Uh, I don't, all right, that's the that's, pig that's the size fair. of a continent. I don't think alarm's gonna help with a hoof that's around the entire size of it. All right, all right. Well, if can can alarm can can the alarm be set for all of us? Because I know yes. there's either a mental one or a uh, actual. So alarm. she can make a range that is like it can't be any larger than a twenty foot cube, which encompasses your guys' camp essentially. Mm-hmm. Um, so an alarm alerts you whether a tiny or larger creature touches or enters the warded area, and she can designate creatures that won't set off the alarm. So she can decide what doesn't set it off. Okay. okay. Um, and she also oh. asks if you would like it to be just her getting alerted or if it's audible for everybody. If everyone, needs. everyone, okay. yeah. Uh, I will take a last watch for the dawn. <clears throat> okay. So, nothing happens in the night. Remy and Panic. Yeah, we're going to uh, press X to skip the dialogue and do the wall hack. Connor and I talked about it. Okay, but you need to get a frame perfect jump in the corner of the room for that. That's to go what I'm saying. Well, because we speed ran the boss, so I figure if we can, if we skip the dialogue and do the the corner move, then we'll be able to go through the wall. The dialogue <laughs> plays, but you can go to the end of the level. Okay, roll a d twenty to 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 get the frame BLJ. perfect skip. Okay, hang on a second. Uh, that's roll roll be, athletics to BLJ. Uh, it's going to be a seven to get it. 
Unfortunately, as you jump into the corner, you just miss the frame, and unfortunately, you're gonna have to reset the run. I'm sorry. <sighs> Fucking damn it, Connor! I told you you should have done the jump. Connor, do you want to attempt the the, you the frame do the perfect jump? Because one Connor? of us has to make it so we can get the dialogue skip. Is that no. enough? No, Fuck! it's not enough. Right. <laughs> damn it! Right. You guys, I actually would have jumped you guys forward if you. I would have. <laughs> damn it! I I, I was like standing on Remy's shoulder trying to clip through the ceiling. But yeah. <laughs> I would have. I actually would have jumped you guys back somewhere else, but now you have to navigate back out, which is really, ah, really, ah, really so good. Uh, all right. So as you guys finish, and the howls and screams of entrapped spirits finally cease, and that massive aura of something just vanishes and disappears, and a laughing cackle, you guys are actually pretty okay. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Oh, well, that was tedious. Uh, it's taken care of. At least it's over. I it's suppose we should go tell... Uh, we could go tell every man that the job is done. Get I our stuff and get out. I suppose you can do that. I'm going to need you to deliver your report to Lady Isla as well. She's going to be interested in this information. Right. <sighs> boy uh well while we're already down in the sewer so let's go let's go see every man first and mm -hmm. i'll i'll just go i'll just mage hand over to john's double corpse and mm -hmm. i'll i'll pluck like something not like notable that would be okay. recognizable as john i will say a you take a vertebra like a is that how you say it yeah vertebra? yeah okay <clears throat> sorry i just vertebra um <laughs> you grab you grab that and you you pocket that all right now i'll, I'll cast prestidigitation to make a tiny rose in my palm and i'll throw it over to the rest of the corpse so long john and a flight of angels sing thee to thy rest all right for the sake of brevity Please. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're trying to do the okay. wall jump. You know what? No. Now it's going to be longer. <laughs> no, it's uh, uh, You report to Avryman, who is overjoyed and not at all interested in the details and is more interested in the fact that the job is done. Um, <laughs> they make mention that they're going to return the favor at some point. I will express my appreciation. As you guys surface out in the city, you go to bed for a long rest. The following morning, you are slated to meet with Lady Isla, the two of you, to oh deliver boy. your report on your job. Yay. Get my smell slots back. My smell yeah. slots. You have a nice bath when you get home. That's nice. Also, when you make your way through the tavern, um, log is being kept on the counter. <laughs> uh, In like a little cage. <laughs> no, it's an overturn. You ever see like kids when they hide in laundry baskets, like flipped over laundry <laughs> baskets? <laughs> log is just sitting there in that. And there's like a little, there's a little wooden placard like written in charcoal. It says jail. This is good. You can You guys game. wake up the following morning and make your way to the city proper. Is there anything you want to do before you head and meet Lady Isla? No, I'm good. What about you, Connor? Connor. Uh, Connor. Connor. I'm thinking. Is, you, is it Connor? Is there anything you wanted to do before we went and talked to Isla? Yeah, I know. I heard. Yeah, but was there uh, anything that you wanted to do before we talked to, to Lady Isla? Uh, I don't think so. No, I think. Okay. okay. All right, you guys make your way up. And as you guys make your way to the border of the council district, you are met with two 
very high standing looking Hoketh clerics. They have the wide brim hats with the veils that go around the face, the sort of long cloak like heavy armor. Uh, and each are wearing bearing shovels and various weaponry as well. Uh, and as you guys approach, they kind of nod towards you, expecting you, and begin to lead you towards the high Hoketh temple. The Gothic cathedral-like appearance of the Hoketh Temple greets you as you make your way up the steps and enter inside. For the first time, you don't see Isla in the main chambers, uh, but you do see actually a lot of Hoketh clerics in here right now, apparently doing some sort of manner of sermon or cleansing of the temple itself. You're seeing a lot of candles being lit, um, a lot of uh, incense being burned, as well as cleaning the windows and cleaning of the stone as well. Um, you notice that there are reliquaries that are appear to be being moved around and uh, just a general manner of maintenance going on right now. And as the two Hoketh clerics kind of lead you forward, they actually take you into a side chamber, which you've never seen before, um, and eventually into what appears to be some sort of private sanctum or office. Uh, as you enter inside, you immediately see a sculpture Greckles, or, oh my god, Greckles, oh my god, Greckles, you're sleeping in the woods, I don't need to worry about you. Um, <laughs> That's fine! Panic, as you enter inside and you see the statue, it is a massive, almost black stone statue. You know immediately what this is, because you've seen this creature before. It is a artistic depiction of the Harvest Men. Ugh. It's very cool looking. Um, notably around it appears to be a sort of like small garden space uh, that seems to be have a variety of different kind of deep cyan and blue and purple flowers of varying degrees of large petals. Um, and it kind of comes down to like a sort of staircase that can be sat upon. Uh, and you currently see speaking with a, another cleric right now is Lady Isla standing and speaking slowly. And as you guys enter, you watch as that cleric notices you, bows to Lady Isla, and makes their exit, kind of giving you both a cordial nod before leaving. You can see the sway of a tail. It appears that they were some sort of tabaxi of some kind. Ah. One of the Hoketh clerics who has escorted you kind of steps forward and goes, Lady Isla, we have uh, escorted the, the guests of your request. And you watch as she so turns and goes, Thank you very much. This is a private audience. And they go, and they both nod, and they turn, and they leave, and they close the door behind you. <clears throat> There's no need to be stiff. You can <clears throat> sit down if you like. Remy will motion Slowly. for panic to sit down. <laughs> Still slowly go over and just sort of slowly lower himself into the seat. Remy yeah, it's like bend. a stone bench, essentially, in this space. A lot of stonework and beautiful carvings and different sermons and hymns carved into the walls. It's very nice. A little spooky. Uh, mm. Remy is going to stand like a, the knight that he is behind Panic and off to his right shoulder. <clears throat> so, what have you found? <clears throat> Go you feel a nudge in your back, panic. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Lady Isla actually is drinking tea as she's having this discussion with you. She's sitting down on the bench and she's just gently, you know, has a little cup and she's just gently bringing it to her lips and drinking slowly as she listens to the report. Learned uh, quite a bit, Lady Isla. Mm. Um, I'm sure you're aware of the kobold necromancer known as Mel. Oh, yes. I'm very aware. Hmm. Well, in the bowels of this city's sewers, uh, we've discovered something quite unsettling. Uh, and I, 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 I like look around from left to right. Is is like there like a rule against saying certain names? And I raise my eyebrows in here. She kind of cocks her gaze and she goes, if you are worried about the will of Necrecta, 
She has no power here. Sort of lean back when she gets some tone to her voice. Yeah, there's some bite there. It's probably the first time you've ever heard her emote. Okay, yeah. Um, you know, the whole thing. Sometimes, you know, names can be uh, powerful. <clears throat> he sort of rubs I his throat. Understand. And she just goes back to her normal demeanor and takes a sip of her tea. Just, just poker facing the entire time. We've discovered some sort of sacrificial chamber in the city sewers that was devoted to Necrecta. Mm -hmm. And if if I can, if I can, I will uh, like sort of make a little prestidigitation of of the basic markings. I can't I can't do anything intricate, but I will. Yeah, you kind of make it. You try and remake what you remember. Yeah, I'll show her that. That's a good roll, Lila. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. 18 plus. Yeah. She looks down at it and you, it's 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 a not a piece of paper, it's like an illusion. Yeah, I'll just I'll just I'll just have it be on my palm. Like showing a parent like a meme on their phone, they have to kind of lean forward and look closer at it. She kind of like leans forward with a T in her cuffs and she goes, Oh, so she converted it, I see. What else? It was mentioned by a former friend of hers that it's being used as some kind of anchor. For what? I'm not quite sure, and I shudder to think about it, honestly. Go ahead, Remy. And I panic, too. Both you guys roll inside checks. This is a really hard check, though. Okay. So don't inside. be discouraged if you roll low or don't roll at all. Oh, all God. Right. Jesus. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Oh, fucking... Come on, roll 20. Not 20, oh. let's go! Oh you can't hide God. your secrets I've, from I've, me! I felt it. I felt it on the hairs of the back of my neck. I felt you it You can't coming. hide from me! Now it's my turn. That's a good roll. Soft 20. That's a good roll. You tie. Actually, no, you're one over with the natural 20. Let's go. Oh my God. Nice. For the first time that you've known this horrible woman, <laughs> this horrible, horrible <laughs> woman. Remy, as Panic is talking about the anchor and talking, and when she mentions like the conversion, and then he talks about like, oh, her previous companion mentioned like this, that, and this other thing, she is not talking about what he's relaying intentionally. You get the sense for the first time that what Panic is saying is registering and is probably extremely important to her, but she's not deliberating and probably based off of the natural 20 intentionally so okay that's what you get from this oh, fuck. so she's processing what he's saying yes but is giving no indication that she's processing it to hide her reaction you get the sense because she might she the way you get read it with the natural 20 and the way that she's sipping her tea and just kind of mm. watching panic she knows this and more, and she's not letting on to it, but she is curious about other aspects of this, for sure. Is there an emotion tied to anything that I can read on her, or is she that stone-faced that I can't pick anything up? When Panic showed her the uh, the rune, and she uh -huh. said, oh, she converted it, there is a twitch in the eye that you've just subtly caught. You can tell that she's pretty angry, actually. But okay. she's keeping it, you know, however she does it, she's not showing it. Uh, Remy will have the slightest hang on his eyes and her reaction and then dip his head immediately and let panic continue so as not to alert her that he might have mm -hmm. picked up on something. Yeah, he was, panic, he was just talking this entire time. <clears throat> yeah, you may continue. Mm, there was something else, some sort of foul creature that was roaming the sewers and killing 
the unfortunate souls that found themselves down there. Mm. There must... I don't know. Um, you we, killed it. It's gone. We slayed, we slayed the beast, but there was something else. When Remy managed to deal the final blow, there was some sort of release of spirits, maybe around 40 or 60. I assume they were trapped inside of that creature for some manner of time. She kind of thinks about it for a while. Damn, I have to find something really fast. She gently places down the teacup. She kind of looks to you and she goes, when it died, spirits were freed from it. Did you see a large, differently colored spirit also emerge? Yes, a red one. She sets the glass down on the saucer. She looks towards you, Remy. For the first time, she looks at you and looks back towards you, Panic. Mr. Corbeau, Mr. Hi. Bintang, how familiar, how familiar are you with the nature of liches? Okay, Monty, question above game, because I'm very familiar above game. In game, is there a role that I can make along with that? Game? would be Arcana or Religion of your choice. Okay. Um, because Arbolos? as far as your character history is concerned, like a lich is a pretty fucking big deal. That's like some world ending shit. So, yeah. You may have read it in a historical tome or an Arcana tome of some kind. Yep. So, that's where this check is coming from. I kind of figured that this was where it was going. Uh, what do you want to make the because we'll I'll do the because they're the same for me. Is Arcana better for you? Arcana is way better for me. So, I'll roll religion because it's the same for me, and we might get different information if we pass. All right. Uh, so I'll do religion. Excuse me. All right, Remy, you got anything left in the bag of tricks, or was that your last one? Let's find out. That was a good one to get though, because I think it's probably that might carry over. Uh, I believe. I believe Go I roll believe. 20. <laughs> it's taking its sweet time. 14? Okay, 14 is pretty good. Okay. <laughs> 13. Oh, 13. A three? Roll 20. Uh, so, Remy, because you use religion, you know that the creation of a lich is absolutely devastating. Yep. Um, the life that they use to maintain themselves is stolen from other people. Specifically, it creates diseases, it kills people when they're young, it's really awful and is the reason why those things exist in the world. Um, notably, and the both of you with both of these checks would have this, liches are immortal somehow. You don't know how it works. Um, nope. So your knowledge of that is very limited and you have no idea. You just know that they're very, very powerful undead entities that can a normal person can turn into essentially so above game they don't have the normal item that would keep them alive somewhere it's different you don't know okay mm -hmm. only stories i've mm -hmm. heard they're powerful undead creatures that are practically immortal they're essentially life stealers they use it yeah. and feed off of it to keep themselves alive Liches can be killed. There's been those in history, and you must ask where they've gone. This creature was not a lich, but its behavior was similar. When you killed it, its essence, that red thing you mentioned you saw, is probably finding a different body as we speak. What makes that unique, and she sips her tea, is that this particular vessel must be made by that same individual. This Mel, who made his first vessel in the first place. The spirit you saw was what I believe arcanists call an Eidolon. Eidolon? Wait, you mean to tell me that there's another one of those things running around? Maybe not here, but somewhere else. We'll keep an eye on things. <sighs> That's bad. We got lucky and we managed to deal with it pretty easily, but we have more information as well. She nods and she picks up the tea saucer and begins to drink again. 
I believe I might know of a few locations. Good. Uh, this has me most interested. Key people as well, possibly. Uh, supposedly she was heading to either Martorallo or Gramor to meet with someone named Hierophant and Profen. Remy and Panic. As you say Martorallo, the teacup shatters in her hand. Huh. And there's oh. a moment of just pause. And she just turns and goes, oops. And then she gently unclenches her hand. Is that so? I see. Yeah. <laughs> we, oh, Mia, it's in the I, darkest Connor. times that a lawyer must smile. Connor, Jesus Christ. Connor, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> That was the like you've seen her fight panic like with her scythe. Yeah, that's why I'm fucking scared right now. That that's the most emotion ever. Yeah, we, uh, we, uh, we hit the button. You watch as she kind of looks down at her hand, which is bleeding, and she kind of goes, "I'm sorry, I did not mean to startle." Thank you. That information is going to be most helpful. Remy, roll insight with advantage. Panic, just a straight roll. Oh, God. Oh, God. Boy, oh, boy. Come on, baby, one more time. Oh, 28. Good job. Wow. Natural 19. 19. Remy and Panic. Let's go. It's so hard to read this woman, but for the first time, she's very easy to read because I rolled terribly. I rolled a natural one on her. That's appropriate. She's coming from a place of not, like, initially it was like, you saw the twitch of the face and she was clearly angry. Um, this time, it's a mixture of anger, fear, and worry. Fear and worry from this woman? Fear and worry. Fuck. Is, forgive me if I'm prying, but you're... Is there something important in Martorallo that Mel roll could a, be exploiting? Roll a persuasion check, Panic. Oh, man. Okay, here I go. Uh, not great. 15? I still have to roll. You watch as she kind of turns towards you and she goes, In this circumstance... One would argue not. For me personally, my sister lives north of that country. And she slowly rises up. And somehow she seems taller than usual. <laughs> and she kind of gently turns and goes, Thank you for your assistance. Do not mistake my current discomfort for disdain towards you and the services you've done for me and the Hoketh Temple. She kind of turns towards yep. you, Remy. Our debt is repaid. Remy will bow his head. Yeah, no worries. If you don't mind, I have some messages to make that are rather urgent. <laughs> I have some holy wars to ignite. <laughs> <laughs> if I may be so bold, Lady Isla. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how much history you two have, if any, but it could be a trap for you. Mr. Grimtongue, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here. Right here with you and Mr. Corbeau mm. and the council and my cuddle muffin. Um. <clears throat> but it's probably best if people know what's coming their way. And she kind of looks towards you, Remy. I'm sure you would understand that. Aye, me lady. Mm. 
rest, and do not worry. This is the burden of Hoketh. Well, I suppose we'll take our leave. Remy is going to about face and begin walking out. All right, you guys make your way out, and the door closes behind uh, unless, you. Uh, unless you uh, want before, to do something, Connor. I was going to say, Connor, before, if you want to do something. Just before I leave, I'll just be like, Good day, Lady Isla. Good day, Mr. Grimtongue. She heals for eight. The, yeah, she looks at her hand, and you see all the wounds, and she kind of grips it, and she goes, Thank you. And you exit out. When you exit out, the outside is, like, a little warmer. It got a little cool in that room, like, hauntingly so. And as you guys exit out into the main chambers, you can see kind of the Hoketh, like, clerics kind of, like, chatting across the hallway, like, hey, yeah. Oh, and they kind of stiffen when they see you uh, emerge out from the chamber. <laughs> We're just sprouting white hairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they see the look on your guys' face. You guys look pale, and they're like, oh, shit. You got the storm coming, boys. Honey, you got a big storm coming. <laughs> well. Um, in all the time I've known her, she's never done that. No, and she was very guarded, Hennick. I've There was a twinge in her eye that I've never seen before. I it's suppose very I can understand... Down. If her family's in Martorallo, I suppose I can understand. Oh, boy. There are those Lich? I Lich? What the fuck do we do about that? I, listen, if, if, if that is what it is, there is nothing that we can do. None of us. That is well beyond our capabilities. Fuck! She wants us dead, dude! Yes, well, that is why you have allies. You had better hope that Lady Isla can get this under control. <sighs> yeah. But should the worst happen, he's gonna clang his shield a little bit. At least have a little bit of cover to run. I suppose so. As long as we have a waist high water and that shield, I think we'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys are walking through the temple, you see one of the Hoketh clerics going, Where do I put the skull of divine prominence? Over there are the other skulls. Oh, okay. Just see them moving stuff around. You'll never find it. <laughs> it's going to get lost. I have never understood the Hoketh clergy's obsession with skulls. Uh, they're all about death, aren't they? Yeah, but why keep them around? Because they help the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Ambiance? Atmosphere, yes. When I think Skull. creepy dead, I think skulls and skeletons and rare artifacts that glow in the right. My sword is from here. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, huh. I suppose I can understand that. Ugh. Speaking of which, ugh, my God. it's hard to get the stench out of these clothes. Yes, I might have to get new ones. Yeah, me too. What am I even wearing under here? And he just lifts up his coat and he points to his <laughs> shirt. This thing doesn't even have any fucking buttons. I, I don't proclaim to understand your particular fashion sense, Panic. That's your area of expertise. <sighs> I figured it was something from Tricadia. It was a look that they had. Ah, maybe. Probably something I had from my luggage when I came here. Something. I just threw it on. Are you still living out of your luggage? Well, no. I mean, I have, I have like a wardrobe now, but it oh, okay. didn't Excellent. throw it away. Well, there are, you know those people that move around from place to place and they never truly unpack, never wanting to settle down. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. All right, you guys head out. Yeah. Okay. So. okay. Uh, as you guys head out, I'm gonna say roll a final perception check for me. Oh boy. Uh. Eight. Okay. You Ready? did it with uh, advantage because it's sight based. Yeah. Oh, you sight. Okay. That's gonna be a soft twenty. Okay. 
As you guys make your way down the steps, you hear the doors kind of open behind you. And as you turn around, you see a, appears to be a Hoketh uh, worshiper, different attire. Um, they don't have the veil, um, but have rather a very sort of tightened armor around the, the, the chest and then like a long sort of coat uh, motif and like big uh, boots. And they have a lot of bags around them. And you see them immediately kind of run down the stairs Remy, it's great that you saw him because you have a military background. That is 100% a um, messenger. Oh. Mm hmm Okay. And they run past you and move. And you note that in your conversation and kind of remember that and make your way back to the sweet dragon. Okay. As the songbirds tweet and the sore pains of fighting and having a hitch thrown at you as well as a scarecrow comes back to haunt you, Greckles and Task, you awaken to the sound of songbirds and gentle wind rolling over plains. Oh, man, I'm glad we don't have to do that again. Ask is already looking into the fucking woods, making sure the trees didn't move. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a perception check. Actually, no, investigation, actually. Actually, I'll let oh. the perception go. I'll let the perception go. I, I didn't 20. fall soon enough. 20? Yeah, there's some, been some rearranging. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Task, it's okay. It, it seems like they're neutral, if anything. Just as long as we don't start chopping or burning. Task, like, looks at you like that fucking owl. Like, look how calm she is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tiny eyes. <laughs> I want. I I hate to demand fan art, but I really want that because I love that owl so much. I love <laughs> Nelly. I love Nelly. She's my favorite owl in the world. Oh. <laughs> As you guys awaken, you can see the uh, your guys's crew. They're kind of a bit grumbly because you didn't light a fire, obviously. Um, and the wizard kind of stands up and looks towards you and goes, "Nothing triggered the alarm last night." Good. We should be in the clear then. Excellent. I hope you I didn't understand. mind. I, I did allow for like little mice and things to go through, or else that would have been very annoying. No, that's that's absolutely fair. Sorry, I no. interrupted you. And she turns towards you, Task. No, that's quite all right. I'm going to formally apologize at the beginning that the trek back will be a little bit less comfortable than coming here. Oh, she kind of waves her hand like very absently. She goes. The last people we worked for, and you can see everybody else is kind of loading up the wagon and like, you know, folding up the tents and whatnot. The last people I worked for were so picky about everything. This is actually a very, rather nice job. Very interesting, too. You're quite strong. I liked your magic. And she nods towards you, Greckles. Greckles just uh, coyly shrugs a little bit. It's been the first time I've done that in a while. I was kind of impressed with it myself. Hmm. Well, let's get going, shall we? Very well. Uh, you hear Vane Moore be like, oh, you're up, let's go, let's go. We can eat on the road, let's go. Really? N not even not even time for breakfast? We're not making a fire. What are you going to cook over to the fire? We can just eat it on the on the, on the the cart. I look at the forest every time the word fire is used. You you see, like, one of the, uh, you see one of the trees, like, punching another branch, like, you know, a person would punch their, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, Tass, their Tass is already fucking, like, <laughs> just sitting on the reins and going, let's fucking go already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll a vehicle check for me, Task. Hell yeah. Ooh. Oh, the nat 20 on the hey. other side, though. 13, 23. Really you guys, make your way back, swinging through the various villages. Um, the people you actually hire, you expected them, like, in Greco's, you have to walk, unfortunately, because yeah. there's not enough space for you, but you're walking as well. Um, you know, it's a long way to walk, and you guys do stop, and you get some food at the inn of, uh, where okay. Anna was from. Um, and you eventually make your way back to Alabas with no issue. You do cover the cargo, though, as oh, you course. go into the city, just to be safe. Um, and also when you hit up the town as well. Um, which, again, uh, was a illusion spell by the wizard. She just basically put an illusion over top of it. Mm. And as you guys make your way into town, where do you want to take Mike Crank to be stored? I want to talk to Brorik. Okay, absolutely. 
You guys make your way up to the council room and request an audience with Brooke Bronzefang. Um, you have to wait about an hour, unfortunately, because he just, the moment you ask to see him, he is just in a meeting. Right. Um, and as you guys wait with the cart, they do wish to examine it because, you know, you're going into the council district with a large vehicle, which is a little weird and a little sketch. Do you permit this? Sure. Under, this, under the circumstance that you understand, this is very, very precious cargo and, and please to keep it discreet. The Avon Paladins both kind of nod and go, of course, of course. And they kind of just gently look through. The uh, Vainmore actually provides them with an, uh, like a whole list of what is there. And they actually do a cross comparison to it. And you have an hour, so they, they're very thorough. Um, and once everything's signed off, they stamp the paper and hand it off to you. And uh, Vainmore kind of turns to you guys and goes, well, besides the cart, that's where we part. Really nice yeah. working with you, too. You're pretty uh, easygoing types. Well, if... Uh -huh. You ever need to catch a drink somewhere, be sure to come to the Sweet Dragon. Ah, oh, I know the Sweet Dragon. My brother drinks there all the time. So it's got the best booze in the entire city. Rare stuff. Oh yeah, the barkeep back there. Oh, she'll fight she'll she'll fight tooth and nail to, to get the best hooch. Uh sometimes literally. He just pulls his collar away from his throat. I've been there once before to your bartender. That's the orc lady, right? Good old Helga. Every time she looks at me, I can feel myself getting divorced. And that is when Greckles will settle <laughs> off camera. <laughs> anyway. I shake, his I shake his hand. Thank you for your time. He gives you a really firm hand, like a dwarven handshake, that really firm, all-encompassing, like up and down, up and down. It hurts the joints a little bit. My, my, you know. my fuck, I, I imagine Tess's arm, like the rest of like the rest of him is fine, but his arm looks like a fucking Mary Blair painting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take care. And you watch as the wizard kind of goes, take care. And she turns and follows him. And the rest of them all just kind of give you all like a salute. You don't really get to know them that well besides just eating with them. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The one halfling is like, need another banjo. <laughs> and they leave. I give him a gold. I give him gold. Yeah, okay. I was going to do that too. I give him all five right. gold. All right. That's perfect. And as you guys wait, eventually you see, uh, actually, no. Oh, no, she's working. Never mind. Um, yeah, you see an Avon Paladin come down and be like, uh, Burke Bronzefang is ready to see you. Oh, I, good. I, I kind of like just like, I pat Avahi on the side and I have him usher the fucking card in. They are upset. The lizard hounds have been pulling this really heavy thing for multiple days and they've just very, they're not used to it. They like being free and on, you know, horseback course, style well, riding. They, they, they will be getting a reward after this, mark my words. As you guys make your way in, the paladin kind of turns and goes, we're going to be taking you to the stables, not the temple. Is that okay? That's more than fine, just as long as it's well-guarded. Absolutely. <laughs> You're in the most well-guarded place in the city. Mm. All right. All right. Then let, let us away to Brork, then. Okay. As you guys make your way... You're eventually led to uh, the stables, which are very nice. It's like a full-on giant, like walk in it's a very narrow space that is actually set nearby the temple itself and the inside you see the most beautiful horses hmm. they're all <laughs> high caliber war horses then there's a vahi <laughs> i'm saki just derping around <laughs> eyes going in two different directions yeah. like one of them one of them licks their eyeball yeah <laughs> yeah exactly uh, one second, sorry. Uh, you also see one horse that catches your attention. It's a beautiful white mare that is quite big. And it, it just looks gorgeous. And then you watch as a wing on its side unfolds and stretches and then comes back into the body. Whoa, what? Oh, fuck. Uh, both of you roll a knowledge religion check. Okay. Because uh... neither of you would have seen this. That makes complete <laughs> sense for yeah. 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 For both yeah. of you, it makes a ton of sense. This is a horse that has wings coming out of its back. Oh, so it's kind of like that, huh? They can fly now? Well, it, you know, I mean, you've got griffins. Get the Griffin Riders. I guess a horse with wings makes sense. 
Oh, uh, there you are. You hear a voice behind you guys. Uh. You watch as Brork kind of comes around. He's wearing his full gear. I'm sorry, I interrupted you, Tass. Was there something you wanted to do? No, 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 no. Okay. What, what, Tass is going to fucking go interact with the horse? He's fucking, like, up to the thing's kneecap. <laughs> Brork kind of walks in. He looks very good. He seems, like, pretty engaged, and there's a little bit of a bounce to his step as he walks in. He goes, hey, you two. Hi. Sorry hey. to pull you away from whatever it was you were doing. No, this is important. And, um, you know, if this is Solly's mission, it's Solly's mission. He walks over and he examines the uh, main body of Mike Crank. Huh. Wow. He's way more damaged than the reports said after the battle. Well, <laughs> a, a, apparently it seems some kind of necrotic force took him over and was, was the wildest thing work. I've never seen a construct do this, but it was emitting undead, undead soldiers from that battle. We might have to cleanse. We kind of just waves at all of it. it. Might be best to do some sort of ritual to ensure that nothing about this is hollowed before we entrust it to some that might not have a better chance of dealing with the problem. But good work. Um, he kind Speaking of runs, runs a hand by his back and he just goes, go ahead. Speaking of, have you been briefed about the Silver Kobolds at all? Yes, we had a very intriguing um, meeting with an ambassador there, apparently. Um, what was their name? Aubin? Uh, Ob Aubin? Oh, Aubin, yeah. Mm. There's some sort of yet. gatekeeper something. But um, yes, we've made communications with them. They're not particularly privy to conversations of a political nature, but many of those who are Oriara worshippers, as well as the... Um, Members from Numeria and their sort of respective inventors' guilds have made a very fast connection with those individuals. So, um, reclusive as they may be, they are not opposed to speaking with us. So, that is positive. In terms of what you requested in particular, we did get a message back, and they are, and in their words, intrigued. And when made mention of you, and he looks down to you, Task, they were very eager to assist. It's good well, news. That is mm -hmm. very good news. It may be more than my crank that we're going to need if we're going to get rid of, well, that wonderful f red forest. For my knowledge in speaking with Solly, the goal of this is not to kill him. And as much as I would love to, believe me, right now the goal is to get you through that wood, based on my understanding. No, that is correct. I just, I don't There's know. No, I, I absolutely know what we're going to do. We're going to throw as many constructs as we can at this thing that are willing because it is completely imp it is completely blind to the fact of something that is inanimate. Burke crosses his arms and kind of looks down and goes, there is something about the nature of the, cro the constructs that is both a blessing and a curse. The good news is none of them have violent tendencies. We haven't had a single reported issue of any violent act between construct and man with the exception of one instance of a, um, I believe your cleric log, was it? Yeah. Preaching Actually, without pardon. a license, we had to arrest him for that purpose. It was a very strange moral dilemma. We weren't sure what to quite do with it, but they're not violent. And that also means that they might not be violent towards Fleur as a result. Oh, trust me, that's a complete fabrication. You, you say that, Bork, but... There have been many hints, and I'm sure you've seen it before. There is something going on with that collective. They're becoming more sentient. They're creating art. They're having ideas that are, are extraordinary, that only true sentient creatures could have. May I ask, Brork, I'm not a religious mm -hmm. person, but remind me again what the creatures are, the ones that are depicted to be almost sort of like creatures made of eyes and rings and metal with wings that that are supposed to be terrifying beyond all recognition and power. Some celestials have such depictions. I imagine that's what you're referring to. Aye. Uh, Log can summon those. What? He <laughs> just actually, like, Log. you see him, he's like, he's like kind of looking confused. The little boy. The li That little boy has been completely blessed by Oriara. Similar to how Bob may be some kind of speaker for Orin, 
log may be a speaker for Oriara. Hmm. It summoned a creature that could will saw-like objects on its hands and cut through wood like it's butter with a knife. Hmm. That's so perplexing. We have reached out to some of the constructs that were once used as sort of stationary guards in hopes that perhaps they would be interested in joining the Avon clergy, but they've all been but opposed. Their interests are not in fighting at all, so this is interesting. The only construct, to my knowledge, that has had any semblance or want to be combat efficient have been, and he just gestures a hand towards my crank. Then he may be central in this goal. If he could rally the constructs into a greater cause, whether it be for Oriar or to protect the city, that might be our ace in the hole. We may not be able to pull resources from the constructs here, but I bet you that if you were to ask if there's any way that the Silver Kobolds, apart from my crank, could possibly give us some sort of advantage on that. To my knowledge, based off of the reports, they are currently in the works of rebuilding elements of their own place after a botched flight attempt. I don't know what that means. Um, and the loss of one of their figureheads as well, which I believe Abby has taken up the position of. That being said, we are going to have some of the Silver Cobolds come here to work on Mike Crank. Um, so if you wish to visit the efforts and the work being done, I highly recommend that. I'm going to be handing off that work to Hammernar, as well as any members of the Oriar clergy and any constructs who have any vested interest. Your little friend might prove useful if they do as what you say. I and I imagine that my if what you say is true about the fact that they agreed to assist just because of my mere mention, my presence there might be more beneficial. Certainly, I would appreciate that. That would be most excellent. Well, I can take it from here. Um, you can leave your beasts. You can take your beasts with you, if you wish. Oh, I. They, they deserve a reward after lugging this giant monstrosity here to you. Um, Greckles, before you leave, could I have a word? Can I insight that? Abs of frickin' lootly, you can. Eighteen. He seems to want to talk to you something personal. Does he seem upset? <laughs> no. Okay, good. Uh, sure. Um, task if you can get Hanzaki, and if if you're gonna take them to a pet, like a pet spa or something, let me know. I can kick in the gold. Oh no, I'm taking them to a butcher. Oh, sorry, that took a minute. Well, here, he's going to ch- <laughs> I'm not going to eat my lizard hound, Greckles. <laughs> well, here, uh, he's going to- You've done your you- job, chink, chink. He's going he's gonna to chuck you nine gold. <laughs> no, no, Greckles. He's my, he's my <laughs> warhound. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's just the timing of it all. <laughs> Thank God. you for picking up what I put down. <laughs> <laughs> Gre- Greckles, Greckles will launch nine gold at you to just help pay for things. Sure, sure. And I'll take Hanzaki and Avahi out so they can go get some food. Cool. All right. Okay. Burke, after you. He kind of leans up against the post, and one of the horses kind of <laughs> and kind of like turns around. And he kind of leans down and goes, "You don't have to accept this, but when we first met each other, we were pretty amicable, and then things." Kind of went not good. Yeah, it's a nice way to put it, I suppose. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. I wasn't exactly being the easiest person to work with. But if nothing else work, please trust me when I say this. The only thing that I care about now and the one thing that I will devote my entire life to is the protection of the city. That's why I felt like I should have said this. I think we're both arm in arm on this path, and uh, we can't let that stop us. It was a hard start, but hard starts don't have to lead to hard finishes. No. You're a very valuable ally. Not just to me, but to Sali and everyone else I know. And trust me when I say we all, (laughs) all of us at the Sweet Tavern know (laughs) that the Sweet Dragon understand how much stress you're going through. We really do. 
Funny enough, all this stuff with the Orin clergy has made every other piece of noise kind of fade into insignificance. I can't tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I would say that's probably a bad thing, Bork, because then you're just forgetting about yourself. I understand that duty comes first. I, I won't sit here and lecture a paladin, but don't let duty take place of your entire life. Be sure to stop and appreciate the things that you have in your life. You don't know how long you're going to have them. <laughs> you sound just like someone I know. Oh. My trip through the elemental planes really did teach me a lot. Well, to the future. To what it holds. To the future. Stay out of trouble, rogue. <laughs> uh, oh, by sorry. the way, Brorik. Yes? Whenever the time is appropriate, I would like to offer up my services to assist Welch whenever the opportunity is given. That is a conversation for Doros, I think. That's fair. I just wanted to make sure that, uh, I don't know if I was slinking the side streets, just wanted to make sure that I was done in Alvast's interest. Keep an eye on the docks if you're doing that. Oh, why the docks? People come in oh. and out there. A lot of rumors. A lot of stuff regarding other countries tends to float around there. Words that don't reach the city usually. Just a thought. I'm no expert at that. Do you think anything's made its way past the docks, hinting at uh, spies and such? <laughs> if they have, Bismati Primtosh is either going to rip them apart with her fangs or her very sternful look. Fair enough. I'll keep my ears out. He kind of thinks about the ear thing for a second, and like you can see him going through like the four stages of thought process and just kind of nods towards you. <laughs> right. Take care, Greckles. You do, Bark. Right. Yay, so closure! I want oh, he's, been sit he's been sitting on that for a while. Yeah, we haven't had time. No. I'm, I'm feeding Hanzaki and Vahi an actual fucking roasted turkey. They're both getting Okay, you're, you're getting a turkey? Uh, so for a big turkey, I'm going to say probably about, f uh, for a huge turkey, you want one for each, right? Yeah, of course. Three gold. Sure, fuck it. Yeah. They're not the nicest turkeys, but they're like, they're, they're going to work. Uh, I, you I, buy I, it I, from, I, you buy it from like a, uh, a human butcher guy who has like these crazy mutton chops and like an underbite. And he just kind of he kind of unhooks the two herkies. They still have the heads on too. Now, how massive is this man's tattoo on the side of his arm? Uh, he has like the uh, the mom heart with like the knife Excellent. going through it. Excellent. Yeah, and it's like really big. And then from there, he's got like a kraken running down the arm. And he even uh. has like tattoos on his knuckles of the various different like kind of like nautical looking things. He looks like a retired sailor of some Jeez. manner. This, this, this is a very well put together establishment. I can get behind this. Oh, yeah. It's not breaking any health code violations at all. It's perfect. Uh, <laughs> as he hands the turkeys to you, they're bigger than you. They're massive turkeys. I kind of like got an underhand to just like like barely keep them off the floor as I trudge over to Avahi and Hanzaki and I give them each a turkey. All right. Uh, as Ava actually, <laughs> can can both you guys roll intelligence checks for your your lizard hounds for a fun thing here? Me as well. Which oh, is the I, dumb? I, I yeah. The same shit. Oh wait, no, that's just yeah. Raw. It's raw. Uh, it's eleven. Uh, so you want to roll for your lizard? You want to roll for your lizard hounds intelligence, which I believe is a right. That's correct. Oh shoot. Yeah. Okay. So because they're they're a little dumb. So well, let's uh, see what this yields. Okay, so that's a potential. Um, Zito, can eight. you grab the stats? Eight. It's, it's minus three. Fourteen. Okay. Go ahead and roll yours for a I, I did already. I, I, I got an eight. An eight? Okay. Uh, as they eat the turkey, um, Hanzaki eats his turkey, and like, like they crunch down on it a couple times. It's not like a tegu eating. If you ever see mm. a tegu eat, it's like a crunch, crunch, and then they swallow it, and you just see the tongue kind of run across the mouth. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Avahi like, doesn't bite down and tries to swallow it. You see her go, ow, 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 and he starts choking, and there's like <laughs> half a turkey coming out of his mouth. 
okay, well, I guess cobalt medicine, instead of a Heimlich, I'm gonna fucking ram into his stomach to get it out. <laughs> All right, you ram into his stomach, and he put and it lands on the ground and gets covered in mud, and, like, a dog eating its own throw-up, it just runs over and just starts eating it again, with oh. the dirt included, and just, like, crunches down on it and swallows it really quickly. All right, the, the stone will break up the grit. <laughs> And as you guys make your way back to meet up with Remy and Panic for an uncertain tomorrow, and the stage is set to approach Florida Mort potentially, a haunting darkness creeping from the sewers, rattling the minds of both Remy and Panic, and a darkened forest looming ahead. That's where we're going to end the session for tonight. Oh, yeah. buddy. Oh, man. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. My lights are flickering. I'm scared. Oh, jeez. Mel. She's, She's here. We're at 175. Floor de Mel. Man, I want to go fight Mel now. Mort de Fort. No. It's a lich. We're level 11. We're going to get fucking murdered. <laughs> Not if our rolls are good. Uh, 175. Yep. Yeah. So are we okay with my 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 episode name? Yeah, I like that, yeah. actually. Forgotten Toys? Yeah. Yeah. I believe I wrote it down. Let me see. Yeah, I wrote it down. Unless chat comes up with a better one. I trust chat. They've actually, like, hit the nail on the head so many times. Uh, let me look at the. I actually have to go to twitch.tv slash the unexpectable. Wow! Wow! Yay! Yay! This is a good session, movie? guys. This was really fun. Yeah. yeah. yeah that, was combat, really that combat was really great. I loved that. So, um, Mike Crank obviously was broken, so he had a bunch of problems with him. And there was supposed to be more with John, but, you what, know. What was John capable of? I'm curious. A lot of damage and a lot of being really scary as a result. Like, he was going to have a bunch of fear stuff happen mm. if he hit people and stuff like that. And, like, I wanted to have him do additional necrotic damage. And, like, <laughs> there is some other stuff I don't want to say because I might recycle it. But, mm, you fair. know, Panic and, and, and Remy played that really well. So I'm not even upset. That just happens sometimes. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes you just got to seal team it. Sometimes you gotta let them do the uh, do the skip and uh, you know do the uh, what, what do they call it a uh... wrong warp to the end of the. <laughs> I'm so sad end you guys didn't roll high to wrong warp. I would have totally uh... done that. <laughs> <laughs> this is really funny. Wrong warp. Well, to the congratulations, Monty. You had your Johnny Dark Souls. Fuck it. You had your Johnny Dark Souls <laughs> moment. Yeah, we black iron Tarkist him. It was it was fucking it was fucking 175 episodes later, but you finally had the same problem I had. Yeah, it happens though. Yeah, of mm -hmm. course. Like that's whatever. I probably could have done a little bit more editing on uh, on our boy John, but I didn't want to go too crazy considering there was only two bodies in the fight. But that's you know what, that's okay. No, that's, that's fine. Just... Yeah. yeah. Contrary to popular belief. Uh, your DM is not here to straight up kill you. It's to provide a fun and balanced somewhat challenge. I do have to apologize. You know, I, I really was trying to kite and it just was not happening. I'm sorry. I was just like, <laughs> I, you like flew away and they were like, all right. And then just turned back towards Taz. Oh, like, oh, but you know, no. you, you never, you never know if they're single minded. Also, before anyone yells at me, the, uh, because Mike Crank was based off of a specific creature, it does summon specters, and the specters are immune to light. They actually are mm -hmm. completely immune to any, like, light ad uh, ad adversary or whatever it's called. I can't, my brain yep. is fried. Adversity. So, yeah. So they're they're completely unaffected with their summon that way. So I could just, after reading that ability, I'm like, someone's going to be like, um, but I swear to God, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not actually... talking about my Shh. Yeah. Also, also, come on, we could take a lich. It's only a CR 21. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you combine all four of us, we're of CR40. That's how it works, Finger right? of death at <laughs> will. <laughs> you know, so I opened the door. Will? So uh, I opened the door. How, how much shotgun damage do I take? 
I'm curious now. Oh, it's got uh, no. It has slots. It has one, no. It has one. It has one slot of, of level seven. Let's see. So not at will. Just there's a lot of spells. Just you know a lot. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, there's power world. Power word kill. That's that's yeah. That's, worrisome. that's a that's a ninth level goodbye button. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you could have used that the whole time? No, not the whole time. Only when it was funny. <laughs> just straight up ice one of us. Every oh, single no. one of his abilities beyond just like a couple of them is literally he like just fucks you over with something. Like you either mm -hmm. get feared or paralyzed or you just take a ton of damage. But yeah, you guys can fight this totally. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Good session. All right, mm -hmm. let's 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 do outros. Yeah, alrighty. So, uh, Edward Bosco, where can they find you? At Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter, and right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Rap God. Yeah. Gaijin Goomba, where can they find you? Twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time, doing uh, Samurai Warriors. Five with Bosco. It's been a lot of fun. Going to do that until Autogami drops next month. Uh, in two weeks, we're going to have our Otaku Obon. Check it out. It's it's me busting off the drum, and we're going to be just nerding it up really hard with, with Obon music. Look it up if you're curious. Uh, I got a new video going out on the Gaiju Perspective channel, ripping Snake Eyes apart for being culturally deaf for the last 50 years. Um, aside from that, New Witcher Ninja on Bass Snake Eyes. Uh, that's me, as far as I can tell. I'm very tired. Ooh. Oh, wor working working on the Oni race, too. Still, that's yeah. still a good question. Ooh. Hooray. Speaking of which, I believe Jack... Sorry to, to take away, but Jack actually uploaded the original art of the Oni up on his uh, Twitter. Oh, so nice. Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, give, definitely give Jack some love. He's a oh, fantastic I, artist. And I still have really to do... I still have to do the video over them. I, uh, I, that's, I'm curious about that one. Oh, boy. It's a lot. That's me. Randy. Zito, we're going to find you. Twitch.tv slash Zito, CZPackLash on Twitter, the Ever Rankin Almanac on Patreon, and just type Christopher Zito in DMs Guild. You'll find my shit. I mean, if you didn't know for the fact that Aloysius has still been on the front page for almost a month now at this point. Uh... Uh, from what I've been told is that for a lot of people who have been asking me if I can make a physical copy, I can't. However, there's a workaround. If you can push Aloysius to be sold to a thousand and one copies, it will go platinum. And if it goes platinum, that gives me all the rights of the world, apparently to DM's guild standards, that I can make physical copies of whatever the fuck I put out. So I could make a copy of all, both Aloysius's, uh, vol all, both Aloysius volumes... Uh, into one, and if it doesn't, then you're just gonna have to wait until I do three, because three has been guaranteed. Uh, but yeah, volume two is on its way. Uh, it'll boast another 40 extra classes. I mean, I'm sorry, four classes, Jesus Christ. Uh, wow. 40 new races, uh, a lot of it actually pulled from Spelljammer. So, I bring Spelljammer back from the dead for your 5e games as playable characters. Uh... A couple of new arc, uh, a couple of new lineages, uh, but beyond that, it will bring both Aloysius one and two to a grand total of. Oh God, what was it? It was forty, twenty, yeah, sixty-two races uh, between volume one and two. Uh, when volume three hits, it'll bring it up to a hundred. Oh, so and that's so yeah. Funny. Go to go to my go to my Twitch channel. I play I'm playing indie games again because I I upgraded Jub Jub to a real boy status. Smell yeah. I'll Monty, where do they find you? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, and you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh streams are probably gonna be really weird because I'm getting my COVID vaccine uh on Friday, and I might collapse but i might try streaming tomorrow um i don't know what i stream i actually want to fix my helmet and do a helmet stream i think because i i haven't done that in a while it could be really fun 
Uh, so streams mm. are gonna be kind of weird until things kind of clear up in that way. So thank you for your patience in advance. And yes, potentially it can affect next week's episode of Unexpectables. So I'll keep you guys posted as the weeks go by. I have no idea how the shot is gonna go over. I've had people tell me it's not a big deal and other people who I know who've, you know, had a not good time. So I'm erring on the side of caution. So just a heads up on that. But Alrighty. I'm playing Metopia and Nemesis is a horse girl. It's all you, that's it's great. <laughs> there we go. And they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash distortion devil, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Playing tabletop simulator, Guilty Gear Strive, Among Us, uh Yakuza 4, and Wildermyth. Be sure to check out Dead House Sonata. They just released their new Founders Pack editions. Uh, if you got your old Founders Packs, those are still good. You've got some exclusive stuff now that is not available to anybody anymore. Uh, but if you didn't manage to pick up those Founders Packs, then you can absolutely pick up the new ones for the First Age, the Second Age, or the Action Ring. Those are live now. And also be sure to check out My DMs Guild, where released 5th edition subclasses, which are probably going to be a bit Woo. more slow going here, just because i got a lot on my plate, but they'll be coming out. And as always, I'd like to thank our lovely sponsor for this episode that gave us a lot of really great rolls. Good. Die Hard Dice. Good. We're rolling high on the Spectres, Die Hard Dice. Uh, yeah. It's All those so lovely, nice. lovely dice uh, were, were so kind to us tonight. Um, yeah, you can pick up yourself up uh, dice and dice accessories over at dieharddice.com. And if you use the coupon code the unexpectables, you can get 10% off your entire order. And down the way, it's time for some bits and some coconut eye. Thank you for these seven months. Woo, seven months. Hope for many more. Also, Monty, I'm sorry how Rito massacred your boy. How what? I, I don't know. Retail How massacred what? your boy. Rito. Rito. Oh, Rito. 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 It may may have been Zito. May have been a mistype. Maybe. Although Wait, I, R and Z what? are far away from on the, on the keyboard. <laughs> That's fair. It might be Remy because it's Remy massacred well, my boy. If it's if it's speech to text, oh, potentially. Oh, That's fair. We'll see. Anyway, I'm sorry. Yeah. Manny, watch out! Thank you for the five months, uh, or seven months, rather. Oh, hey, seven months subscription. Yeah. Spencer Taylor, thank you for the 13 months. Nice. Necroma X3986, thank you for the six months. Loving the session. This will probably be the last time I can catch it live for a while, since my d, &D sessions are also on Wednesday. <clears throat> ah. Go forth and roll dice. Yeah. Uh, print print equation. Thank you for the thirteen months. Just wanted to say you guys rule. Thank you. Yeah. L robot. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the uh, giving a tier one sub to speedrunners. That's rep represent. Yeah. <laughs> Berg flax. Thank you for the fifteen bits. Did the peck Remy gave Grekels when they first met ever get mentioned again? That was like years ago at this point. Real life years ago. Real human years. Perhaps. <laughs> Iron Starum, thank you for the 300 bits. Uh, Hope Talk is doing well. I started listening to you guys through his channel on YouTube. Hope he returns for the finale. I've always loved his goofy humor. Flustered Bun, thank you for the one bit. How's everyone been taking care of themselves? I, do <laughs> I went on va I went on vacation. That's how I took care of myself. I'm gonna get goop injected into my my bones on Friday. I'm trying I have, to get whoa. a car. I I haven't been taking care of myself at all, so that's how that's going. <sighs> I think we're doing good. I think it was really fun. Yeah. yeah. Zan Wen, thank you for the seventy bits. Big Peace Pipe, thank you for the 100 bits. You need an ace detective to investigate gay crimes. P.S. For clarity, figuratively lost, literally died. Oh. 
Ah. Magic Ninja Go. Thank you for the 100 bits. Also, this handmade ramune candy really hits your tongue. Nice. Oh. Ooh. I is like, that the I like ramune that, candy. Is that like the boxu or one of those uh, That's random Probably candy. the boxu, yeah. It's probably boxu, yep. yeah. Uh, you should try my, my, it. It's real good. My fear is that I'll find something and I'll love it more than anything and I'll never be able to get it again. Yes, you can. Sure you can get it you can actually, No, listen, listen. You can actually go to their website and buy things individually. Oh, really? That's yes. actually really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, actually, you know, this is not sponsored by Boxu, but if... Yes. Oh, well, but I no. am! <laughs> Gaijin is. There you go. There you go. Boxu needs to sponsor us. We can eat. We, we can we can tell everyone what it tastes like as we eat it, because we don't have a camera. Uh. I don't want to put that. I actually, what? Monty. You do that all the time, Monty. <laughs> Monty, uh, you're going to hate it. Uh, but my dad got a, a sampler pack from a subscription service called nuts.com. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> also, nuts.com, really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Fucking love almonds. Anyway, um, where were you, buddy? I'm looking. Oh, Sp uh, Spoofalupus. Uh, thank you for the uh, two months of Prime Savage. Finally able to catch the show. Unfortunately, uh, I'm stuck at home from work with a migraine. Ah, oh, shucks. I'm sorry about oh, that, Spoofalupus. Mm -hmm. Mm. Zen leader, thank you for the 300 bits. Remy and Panic are lucky. If they messed up the frame perfect jump badly enough, they would have soft locked in the whole campaign and had to start over from set down. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, Bangalangs, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, episode title Lich, please. <laughs> That's a little too much giveaway. You guys can deal with the list. You dealt with an I, a kind of an idol on thing. Yeah, so. that, that's a that's a great title, but it has no bearing on this for now, though. Big piece pipe. Thank you for the 110 bits. Lady Isla and Johnny Dark Souls. Uh, uh, Lady Isla could Johnny Dark Souls a lich. She would just be pissed because it would cost some rare items. <laughs> What the? What the hell is that? Here's a reminder. Check out the trash. <laughs> you just got mobbed by Alexa. Alexa, <laughs> that reminder is for Thursday. What's the reminder for? Never mind. <laughs> Damn. Where were you when a man got blasted on stream? Everyone in chat is like, take that... out the trash, Connor. <laughs> New meme unlocked. I mean, I guess I could if it is Thursday. Now. I think my favorite moment was when we were like, you guys were fighting the uh, that robot dog when you were heading up the mountain of repetition. And like you, you yelled at Alexa, roll initiative. And she said, like, I want to attack the darkness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So funny. Uh, Ace Bounty, thank you for the 10 bits. I missed you guys. I hope you had a good vacation, Connor. If you're ever on Hyperion server on Final Fantasy 14, let me know and we'll have some fun. Bro, data center. Uh, yeah. Right now, I'm, I'm in the I'm in the Crystal data center, I believe. Don't well, like I said. Don't you worry. Come November, that shit won't matter anymore. You can play wherever the fuck you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fat Spartan, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title of Rust and Rot. That's pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Bangalangs, thank you for the five bits. Episode title Ghost in the Machine. Ooh. Mm, that is pretty Ooh. good. That Did one's also that, really good. That's really good. Mm. Mm, it's a toss up. We got I some kinda, bangers here in the chat right now. Yeah, that one's kind of really good. I don't. We'll know. we'll 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 think about it. I'll write that one down though. The Percusizer, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank y'all for the week off, so I can move. Episode title suggestion: Have you tried resetting it? 
<laughs> Iron Star, I'm thinking of the 600 bits. Uh, Hope Talker's doing well. Always loved his style of humor. I started listening to you guys through his YouTube channel. Uh, oh, wait. Did you already read that one? one? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, this is this is a different one, but it's the exact same message. Oh. Uh, uh, bizarre. Uh, By the this way. This will be my last oh. donation. I will return next week, and I won't be able to stay up past 7 o'clock for you guys. Take care, and thank you for helping yeah. me find a new hobby and for making an entire year of my unemployment durable. Thank you so much, Iron Star. By the way, I just want to point out something as I'm putting my notes away here. Um, you know how you guys were rolling those D10s for uh, my crank? Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of them is actually like he thinks you're his creator. Oh, son of a bitch! It's and he really gets even angrier. <laughs> no, he gets really sad. He thinks you're his creator, and he feels sad, and it's very cute. God damn it! I who, wanted that. Who was before. alive that... until recently, right? Yeah, Artemis. <laughs> you guys, you guys were there when Artemis like got straight up murdered. That was the second arc. Was yeah. yeah. That. So we could have prevented been... this. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 bits uh, in 40,000, Zito. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Zinli, thank you for the 100 bits. You guys could definitely fight a lich. You won't win, but you could fight it. Oh, yeah, yeah. For, for a millisecond, we'll be in there. You can drink lava once. <laughs> it's the forbidden fruit juice. <laughs> Daffy, that was the greatest trick I've ever seen. They want more. They want more. I know, I know, but I can only do it once. <laughs> uh, uh, fantastic, Callum. Thank you for the 100 bets. Why do liches always have to be such a holes? Why can't they be chill? All right, the, the murders. The required sacrificial murders, yeah. <laughs> Even even if liches were like good, like I I know how it's different in different people's settings, but even if the like liches were like nice or good to people, they would still be like taking life from other people irregardless. Yeah, you know they they, they still to. had to do some. They still had to get there. Yeah. Don't they get to a yeah. point where they're just like a, a barely sentient skull, and it's like grandpa, but you know just a skull. I think I think that's if they're not fed enough. Yeah. I mean, could you imagine though? Like, there's a lich that's hundreds and like centuries centuries years old and he's just so senile like he's got all these minions that are just trying to fight for him and he's like who are you watch it eh? where are my cranberries and my where's my prunes where my, prunes? See my foot <laughs> where's my favorite fema i said i wanted the catacombs cleaned out yesterday come on That'd be like you you have this big like level 15 to 20 fight through this dungeon you get to the final boss and it's just the senile lich skull isn't that isn't that tomb of annihilation though it isn't is that just it? the no. plot of tomb of annihilation <laughs> well the final boss i i spoil it we shouldn't spoil the primates but uh one of the final bosses is uh, a lich i believe or is part of a demi lich demi like uh, yeah. which is what you were describing it's just the head of a lich Gotcha. Pretty sure he had a, a full body. I'm fairly certain, but don't quote me on that. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I, Grim, thank you for subbing for 13 months. XY Label, really thank you for <laughs> gifting a tier one sub to nut.com. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Berg Flax, thank you for the 10 bits. Take out the trash, Connor. I suppose I could. New meme unlocked. <laughs> Um, Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, also, or, or 300 combined bits. Also, this booklet says the ramen egg candy is an actual summertime, is like the actual summertime drink. In fact, it says they recreate the classic soda pop flavor in this candy. That's not surprising. Right. Box who goes, Box who finds people that go all in with the, with, with they, what they make. Yeah. I'm tempted to try the wasabi flavored potato snack in this box. Oh, they're also they're maple. Good. Maple cream pancakes that are just like tiny pancakes. Also good. They're, they're pancake sandwiches. They've got syrup and butter stuffed in the middle of them. Sorry. I like hey. I like my jack <laughs> snacks. Hey, 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 chat. Yeah, the 363 of you that are still here, you're one of the good ones. You stayed here. By Aloysius has got a social acceptance. <laughs> the, meme has been, the circle has been closed. <laughs> 
Uh, and finally, from Dusty Bone, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, does this asterisk mention a Spumoni? If not, I will lament. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, I'll take back what I said about you being the good ones. <laughs> yeah, the memers stayed behind. This is what we get. Yeah, 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 the fucking memers stayed. God damn it. I love Spumoni. <laughs> Uh, TFS at the table reference. Oh, I thought it was talking about the ice cream flavor. Well, it, it, it again, reference. It, it's a gotcha. whole big thing. I killed an NPC. I killed a throwaway NPC in brutal fashion because everyone tried to make him the next big thing. So I had the party eat him in ice cream. Hmm. We got two more bits. Uh, Thornton, 6,000. Think of the 200 bits. Uh, you probably won't go for this. But episode title, A Tale of Two Combats. Hmm. Hmm. Bangalang like zero, zero, thank you for the two bits. Already bought it, Chief. Hell yeah, and, my dude. And finally, Volk, thank you for the bit. If the USA was a D&D &D character, what would its highest stat be? Its constitution. <laughs> <laughs> Plus no, two. it's fucking not. Plus two. All right, we good to go, Connor? Yeah. All right, who do we want to raid? I have, I have uh... a... Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have a suggestion? I did, too. Well, I have, I have a suggestion of a friend of mine, but I I don't know if anyone else wants to, if anyone else um, has anything. I, I do have one. Um, My friend Jess, uh, I've been friends with them for eight years, give or take. Um she's doing she's doing art she's she's one of the people that helps put us up when whenever aki and i go to japan to visit um oh, they okay. recently had a uh not a car totaling but a lot of car damage she's currently doing a fundraiser to try and get that fixed are you okay if we raid that zito is that okay one of these days you're gonna raid one of someone i like <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry one of these fucking days you're gonna do it would you, know, you like I, to it's she's she's is she's a tiny cute Lolita. No, 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 I, I'm dude, dude, it's fine. I don't, I, I don't, I don't mind. I'm just being shit. All right, it's, it's a joke. I do that. So let me, Monica, yeah, can you grab that? Yep. And yep. I can, I can, I can send us there. Let's see here. Uh, her handle is Tron Bone Art, as in the Mega Man Legends character. They are very big into the Mega Mans. Mega, 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 mega. All right. What will our raid message be? <sighs> Good question. Um, honestly, she's good. It's going to scare out of her wits. So I guess. How about I, surprise in all caps? Surprise. Yes, surprise yeah. in all caps. Space between each letter. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Surprise. Thank you. No clip wall. <laughs> no clip wall. <laughs> Get out of here, you rapscallions. Love y'all. Bye. Bye.